Oh. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Shit, I didn't turn off my mic. My God, bless, bless Eraser Pepero for his love for crony using overalls. And that's some nice art. Oops, I need to change the audio. There we go. Oh, and I need to up the audio. All right, then. The game is on, as people say. <clears throat> All right. Stream is transmitting, which is twitching, audio is audioing. Gatito, sal de ahí. My cat is cat catting. Fuck. What? My cat just knows. Like the moment I start transmitting, boom, he gets into my room and jumps into my my table and begins sleeping in front of me just because he can. I love you, cat, but you are way too clingy. Why are you? Why are you like that? Why do you love me so much? And why I can't find somebody to love me as much as you do? Anyway, I don't need that. I have my dolls. I have a narrow cloud. Oh, hello, Panzer. Welcome. I just noticed your avatar in the thumbnail. <laughs> Didn't catch it last stream. Ah, it, it was per it was perfectly obscured, I guess. I always try to... I always try to, like, put one of... I always try to put my avatar in, in the thumbnails. Though I'm, I'm lazy and I just, like, reuse a previous keyframe that I did for one of the animations and just... Blasting in there. Actually, I got lucky because the one that I use for the thumbnail of this stream is the one that I made for the next animation that I'm working on that should be ready next week. Or in two weeks, maybe. I don't know. This 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 next month is gonna be really busy. I didn't realize. Oh. She's praying and she's... Way too big for, for being an Elkaris. Oh my god, like, she is actually huge. Wait. She is huge. Couldn't they, couldn't they have just made her model a bit smaller? Ah, they're cute. They're cute chibis. I wonder if people like... I mean, I, ha I haven't seen anybody do it, but could, could people just rip the 3D models from the game and like use them to make animations? That should be possible, right? Anyway, enough, enough dilly dally. Let's continue with the main storyline. <clears throat> I had to be gone later because my family didn't leave the house and they make so much noise. So let's begin now. Continue the story where we left off. Or, or bro. Atlas sacrificed himself so that we, Electra, and Alcyon could escape from the 
the mummy. I mean, I mean the mummy. I mean the mummy. I mean the the, the mummy. I mean the mummy. I mean the the the, the bad entropic uh, boss. So now we are just trapped. Now we're basically trapped in the labyrinth. We need to. Uh, we need to like escape the red, the high order redhead entropic. So yeah, let's continue the story. Shortly after the team split, first split up, Tartarus Sector in the outer ring of the shifting lab. Wait, I need to connect my controller. Why do I play a mobile game on PC with a controller? I don't know, but it's comfortable. Elphoros and Eos speed through the labyrinth, their faces calm, though they were in sanctified hell territory and not in the lair of their old enemy. With danger lurking, with danger, with danger lurking around every corner. All manner of bizarre looking entropics pass them. There is no reaction. Spoofko's cloaks the two of them and their actions perfectly, to the point where the entropics horde doesn't even realize they're there. Big model gamer setup, yeah. Nothing like playing with a PlayStation 4 controller, using an emulator for an Xbox controller, playing with an emulator for an Android phone, playing a mobile game. How deep can I go? But yeah, this, this PlayStation 4 controller is pretty good, but I don't want to get a PlayStation 5 controller. Those are pretty nice. We're almost at the indicated coordinates, Eosphorus. Oh. Eosphorus? Ah, oh, yes, I understand. Are you actually distracted? You were going on about this just now. Well, the movement of the outer ring are right are largely within our expectations. We might end up facing unknown entities and situations going forward. Stay alert, Eosphorus. Did I get the tone right? I even tried to replicate the pauses in your speech. <laughs> oh my god, that face. Oh, you! It's only because I know you're here that I am relaxed enough to consider other things. And you turn around and tease me instead. I don't know, I don't know about this, Eosphorus. He looks too nice and not evil. Well, I don't see how you like that. Oh, I don't see you like that often, after all. Actually, I did as did a little asking around about what everyone thinks of you. Most people praise you in various ways. The one person was a little different. Elle seems to be recalling something, because she covers her mouth and smiles before clearing her throat. Him. Yes, indeed. Well done. That's who he is. Understood. Relax. I will. Don't worry. Elphorus uses many such phrases, but there's hardly any change in his tonal inflection, which indicates he doesn't spend time on verbal showmanship. That makes him quite a reliable leader. Ah. Bertilers always analyze questions in a special way. So, uh, hmm. Interesting. I wonder, I wonder, I, I, I wonder if... I mean, we're seeing Elphorus memories. But... Are we seeing... Yeah, I, I don't know. It doesn't make sense. If we are seeing Elfros memories, why are we... As a, why are we inside as a character in there? I mean, shouldn't we be basically playing as Elfros instead of being a completely new character seeing the memories? I don't know. It's, I don't know. It's kind of weird. It's, it's kind of like we're supposed to be seeing the. It's like we're supposed to be reading the memories of Bosphorus, but we are reading it in like a, from the point of view of a different character. It's kind of weird. It makes me it makes me wonder if if we are actually just a created character name, or tellers so that we can like 
blend in into the memory or are, are we like an actual sanctifier that was in that place when that happened and, and we are seeing it everything from his perspective don't think too much about funky walkie robo memory yeah pro, pro, yeah probably pro, i'm just thinking too much who cares about the offers anyway it's just a it's just a douchebag just a piece of shit Funny how, funny how in the first trailer of Neural Cloud you kinda see him as you kinda see you can you see Osphorus and you're like, oh he's probably the, the big bad the big bad the big bad boss. But then you actually met him in the game and you're like, oh okay, he's not that bad. But then very loose advancements happen and you're like, fuck that guy. He's quite special to everyone. Whatever everyone else complained about how unapproachable you were, the teller was always the one who smoothed things over. Please stop taking shots at me. I do have to take responsibility for the sanctifiers under my command. Yeah, look at that, look at that face. That's an evil face. Come on. And where display your follow side. Even if the operation isn't particularly risky in itself. I still need to put on a show of carefulness and formality so they will carry out their task properly. Then pray te then pray tell. What was our careful and formal Lord the Osphorus contemplating just now? To the point of distraction even. I was thinking about the holy relic. I hope it did not fall in an area with a dense concentration of entropics. That way, recovery will be easier for us. Is that all? I hope we can complete the recovery work quickly and easily, and meet up with the others ASAP. But the is in good shape and it worries me. Alcyon's lack of experience is also a cause for concern. Heh, <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. Relax, like you said, this is the other ring and we won't encounter any troublesome surprises. Perhaps, we still need to maintain a degree of a strategic, a strategic caution. Otherwise, if we roll small Kira, Malkira. No, I mean alerting the other high order entropics will not be good. We cannot let the Tartar sector awaken so soon. Upon discussing serious business, Eos played for attitude vanishes as she struck her chin in thought. Speaking of which, I still don't understand why there's a holy relic. A holy re relic? No, a holy relic in the other rings of Tartarus. Someone told me one day that a divine weapon that kills sanctifiers had landed in the vicinity of the Rebel's Tower, I would classify them as an irregular agent and cleanse them once I had verified that judgment. In truth, the news came from the Chamber of Holy Discourse, built to us by the gods. Ever since the Great Silence, we have not received the revelations for a long time. Oh. Okay, so this is happening right... This is happening like after the... The Great Silence, which is the, the wipe of incense. When when Marcia got disconnected. But probably way before the commander entered Magracia. The gods move in mysterious ways and then the voices of the gods come upon us all suddenly. All we can do is carry out their will. I will not be surprised if they could overturn the Tartarus sector in a night with their power. It's interesting that we, humanity, are their gods, in a way. Huh? Eos opened her mouth, but hesitated to speak. Then she shaked her head before closing her eyes, putting her hands together in front of her chest. May the god... Uh, wh what's the meme? Uh, she's, she's like praying right now, so I'm, I'm just thinking in that meme of RPK. Like, it must fall into sexual desire. I forget what it is. May the gods forgive my ignorant foolery and shallow doubts. There is no telling whether it was coincidental or deliberate. But the moment Eos finishes speaking, the memory block within the Osphorus that it reserved for storing divine pronouncements activates. A section of code that is dramatically different from previous commands suddenly pops out. Like a young beast that has scented prey, 
or like a traveler that heard the call. What's wrong? The guidance of the pronoun. The guidance of the pronouncements is clarifying itself. You must make haste. Tatarus Sector. Oh my, oh my god, wait, 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 that's... that the holy relic? Oh, that looks so cool. Gonna give me Scalibur vibes, but... evil? Soon, Elphoros and Eos have followed with the guidance program to the pronouncement of the detonation. It is a deep cave. A long sword is planted in its midst, like a museum exhibit. Resting with the incongruous serenity amidst danger. Longsword surface is smeared by mud, looking at once like biting chains and a playfulness offering. There are only a few low order entropics nearby. Your prayers have been answered. There are no problems here. Is that the relic? It seems very ordinary. I sense no operands sleeping within or any other way in which he is special. Well, Gonzalo, good night. Yeah, good night, Salo. The Susie Bears reunion. It's always saucy with Eos around. Although so far, she's she's like very... I don't know, so far uh, Eos is pretty nice. In that she's not saucy at all, she's like... I don't know, I like this Eos. She's like reliable, you know? Let's see how far it continues. And let's see how far Elphoros goes until he probably goes bad. It matches the news conveyed from the revelation. There is no mistake. It was pre her case status. Well, you know, the moment I the moment I summoned her into the the oasis, she became her probably. Good thing I haven't yet. Elphorus nuts. <clears throat> Fuck my my throat. <clears> throat> Elphorus nuts dwells and approaches the long sword. Replicate got lost and went to Elphorus instead of Elphorus. Oh, that's a good. <laughs> that's not a bad idea, to be honest. I mean, it, that kind of makes sense because the first time we met Eos, he's Eos and she acts like RPK. So it's like, oh, it's like, oh, it's, uh, it's like, oh, it's, uh, maybe is she got a, a, a chink. A ch I don't know. <laughs> That's an interesting idea. It's, oh, fuck. That's a Ptolemaia. Uh, the Ptolemyas minions, I, I, I mean. The wandering monster sees something and turns to face their enemy. Eos does not immediately strike them down. Instead, she places her fingers over her lips, though to ask a favor to them. Hmm. Shh. Can you just tell them to shoot? Make too much noise, okay? Can you please leave for now? I need some time alone. <coughs> the otherly incompatible and alien entities accept Eos' suggestions and nonchalantly depart. What good kids they are. Oh. Oh shit. Your domination programs are quite elegant. Could you explain them to me? Yes, a crisp, a crisp, clear voice fills their ears, and the response is a pair of swift attacks. Oh, Auji, Auji, hello. Howdy, Auji. Welcome to the stream. Right now, we are following Eos and Eosphoros as they try to recover a holy red relic, which is a sword. And they are basically inside. On tropic territory, which that's interesting. That like the fact that the entropic just have a whole sector for themselves, which 
doesn't look like it's a sector that they infected. It's like just a sector that they own, apparently. It's always a sword, yeah. Would, would the Osphorus, would, will, will the Osphorus be able to pull it out from the stone? No, not the stone, they dropped it. There is a sensation of solid heat. The source of the boys crumbles, but Eos and the Osphorus stay on the guard. There she is, Ptolemaia. Big go moment. We need we need we need, we need a saber face to, to pull that sword. Unlike the rest of the repulsive and tropic creations, a figure wreathed in a pleasant pair of blue light emerged from the shadow in another direction, proudly revealing itself to the two of them. Oh my, these so the greatest sanctifiers greet people? How boorish. Do you act this way when visiting other sectors? Of course not. Even different entities. Treating different ent entities in different ways is a sign of a functional EFF system. We're not in tropics who devour everything without distinction. And what motivates you to act? Your superior orders? But then, the two of you are the pinnacles of the sanctifiers, are you not? You know who we are? Hehe, <laughs> I even knew you would come here. Dispense with your pointless bluff. If you knew who we, who we were and our objective, then you would have greeted us with the full force of the Tartar sector. Or are you saying Malkira is proud enough to believe a single hide order in Tropic can stop? The newcomer shakes her head and curtsies. I order in Tropic such an impersonal form of address. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Ptolemaia. Tartarus has no intention of stopping you. Rather, I bring well-intentioned advice. Well-intentioned advice? Is this a joke? It is hardly amusing. We died Percy alters here and we have Artoria. Ooh, that's... And, and she can... Instead of using Excalibur, she can use... Soul sword. <laughs> oh no. I remember. Flash oh soul. Why have to be you, soul? Why? Where am I? Okay. There we go. Hold on. Why don't you think about my question? An enigmatic smile across the face of the Ashur Hide. Ashur. Ash, Ashur! Uh, 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 where's, where's the lane? Ashur Hide, Hide Order in Tropic. What motivates you to act? How did Tartarus know your objective? They were, never, they were never going to make soul meta, I'm sorry. But they could have! They just needed to like... They just needed to like make her a better... They, um, come on, uh, they just needed to like g give her a good... Armine script and she would be meta, like... Make, g make her a, a true... Secondary... G uh, secondary shield. Make her ultimate stronger. Uh, have her like the, the, the burn... Like that, that the spark? No, she like the burn, like the the burn debuff actually be useful with functions. <laughs> I want to believe. It's okay, don't worry. She will be useful when she comes back eventually as an evil boss, maybe. Like your hash rate. I mean, I can see, I can see the. Hmm, that's what. I can see them not bringing story soul back, but maybe get, giving here a, an army script that. To buffer up, you know. Will we get entropic soul? 
Entropic Soul, or as, or as the friend called them, Eclipse. Oh, that's a good name for Entropic Soul, Eclipse. That's that that would be a pretty that would be pretty clever for them. Soul got entropicized and now she's Eclipse. Sanctifiers act upon orders. Their veracity is self-evident and there is no need to question them. You probably south by chance while patrolling and wish to stall for time with pointless conjecture. Ah, Lady Malkila was right. You sanctifiers her cleave mindless to the dictate of the divine. Her Majesty has struck me to give you some advice. The high order entropic suddenly snap open and the cold flashing through her poppies resemble divine revelations. As long as she's still an airhead. Uh, an evil airhead. Like a so like a, a girl failure, I guess. The high order entropic eyes suddenly snap ah oh, read this. Righteous violate the will of the gods. If you continue on this path, the gods will abandon their patronage on you, smite you with disaster. A good provocation. You will not mock our fate. The two of them raise their hand again, but just as they are about to exterminate this unrepentant heretic, something strange happens. A sinister ripple erupts from the depth of Tartarus, sweeping across the entire sector in an instant. A sudden wave of intense discomfort make the two of them freeze up. It is immediately followed by a shift in the labyrinth. The high and Entropic looks into the distance and smiles. Seems the party has already begun. Oh shit. Elphros and Neos continue their attacks without hesitation. Instantly chopping the height of the entropic body into several pieces which collapse to the ground. There is something strange about the recall they fell from their stripes. As for us? I'm not mistaken. Damage inflicted has deviated greatly from the estimates. Who was affected? Her or us? Eos glanced at the Osphorus, who has suddenly gone silent. She realized what she means. Problem lies with us. It's alright. Is some kind of interfering program. She'll be able to crack it soon. Stop worshiping. Stop worshiping us. It's creepy. I mean, there's probably some humans that really love that. I mean, they, I mean, yeah, it makes me, it makes me think like before the Magracia was disconnected, do the humans controlling Magracia were like, yeah, they can. They can treat us like gods. It's okay. Like they just let that happen, or did they, or do they gain? Do they like begin treating them, treating them like gods and like a uh, whole religion after it was disconnected? Makes you think. Makes you think. You're not actually going to believe what the entropic say just because of a cheap stone like this, are you? I estimate that Atlas and Berteller completed their task just now. Yeah, I did. But not Atlas. You were saying. You had just violated the I we just read that. Just a trick. Demons always lie. This is just one way in which they do so. I know. And simply concede their aim. How they managed to achieve this fact. What a shame! You cover up the holes in your faith with self deception. I didn't think a greater sanctified Nether Cloud would be so base. So basic. The light blue figure emerged from the shadows once again, stopping over the dismembered body. With a light touch, the dismembered corpse reformed itself. using some kind of mirror image type program a people for source do you have the relic already in hand they'll suddenly freeze the hallway at glances at the osphorus who's standing by the sword the two of them exchange looks and she grasps the meaning of the silence before this answer 
there were no problems. It was as though it had only fallen from my hand and was waiting for me to retrieve it. I told you, Atlas has no intention of stopping you, only to give you well-intentioned advice. Unfortunately, you refused to believe it. <clears throat> There's a giant panting of the professor as if he were a saint. Don't look, bro. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not a god, I'm just... Just a... Uh, 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 I kind of like the, the... I'm not the messiah. He is the messiah! He's not the messiah. He's just a very naughty, naughty boy. Or the... Uh, it's another game. I'm not supposed to see this. But at least it's not... <laughs> oh no, I don't want I don't wanna think about El for like kissing Professor Buster. Silence. You means breathing new life into life of Brian is hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I, I love I love that I love those crossovers, I don't know why. I don't know why it just it just makes sense but it's so ridiculous. He is the least of gave. I'm not the least of gave. It's just a very naughty boy. I need to watch. I need to watch that movie again. Life of Brian. I haven't watched Dune two yet. I need to watch Dune two. Who said better, Paul or Elspeth? Uh. Oh. Uh, I mean, who's the who's the better messiah, Paul or or the professor? In a way, in a way, I guess the exiles are kind of like the the sand people. Ah, who said better? <laughs> I, I, I can imagine I can imagine Elfro saying like saying like uh yeah yeah with the boys the freemen there we go the ex in a way the exiles are kind of I kind of like the freemen and the professor is kind of like Paul who sees Chani though or sixteen or Sicaria Elf with the relic in hand Elfro stumps and a thin layer of operands explode from him. Instantly pulverizing the two Ptolemias. However, more Ptolemias instantly emerge from the shadows. Her source location is constantly shifting. I almost got a fix on her. We may not have the time to waste on her. Hmm? The Elf looks up and follows the Elfhoros gaze. Golden light is especially distinctive in this darkened sky. A strict signal arrow from Alcyon. Why? It that abnormal status from before affect the others. But how? It covered the entire other wing. What kind of problem could have such a large area of effect? What does this distance matter to your bounded gods? You. Calm yourself. She's just trying to anger us. We draw for now. There's no point in struggling with her. With relic in hand or gold is her chief. The little Lemayas look at the two figures attempting to retreat and sign that she leave her skirt and turn to the side. More and more Tolemayas emerge from the shadow. You know, the Interpret's guidance is very valuable. Some chances, not given a second time. What is she planning? Firm of fate. The truth must venerate as gospel must work in. Wait, no, no, fuck, no. Change. Ooh. The interpreters will be hearkening and the delays side will be the orders. I can I can see entropies of Harkonnens that that, 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 will, that makes reason. I, I need I need that I need I need that final. Who plays the sandworms? Good point. 
I mean, I guess op uh, you, you, I, I guess you could say that operands are kind of like the spice of Marcia, you know. Let the operands flow. So I guess whatever makes operands will be the sand, sand worms. Those is a sniper, okay. Sochan, Imotep. Let's put soul for good, for good, for good times. And another, another sniper. Let's put Simo. And just in case, obviously. There we go. Oh fuck, you're right. Oasis Trump car is the sandbox bearer. Fuck. Is Nero Cloud just a Dune fanfic? <laughs> oh that's a, oh that's pretty cool that you get to watch uh, I mean a slow day at work and you just watch part one. That's pretty cool. We, oh, I, oh, we, I used to do that with my my boss used to do that but well before he became a, a piece of shit the company go over so good times now 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 I need fan, fan art of oasis and oh, oh, oh hey, fuck oasis what's the what what a, what a fuck! O Oasis, what's where do you, where do you find Oasis in the desert? Fuck! Nero Cloud is just one big dune recolor. Mika, Mika team, you clever bastards! Starting to believe. Oh, Mika, you 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 you. You you did it again. Uh yeah, let's get you here. I can overclock you guys, so <coughs> I need point for snipers. There we go. Premium skin for professor. <laughs> yeah, we need the, the, the steel suits. A skin for the professor using the the the, the, the suit. A steel suit countermeasure against entropy. Ooh. Uh vitality loss. Entropy steel suit uh, recovers 90% of your uh, operands so that you can avoid entropic infection. Tenth class war. Mm, yeah, that that works. I mean, but then all the entropics are kind of like tentacle-like. I need to move Simu out of the way. Upgrade. Let's move you away from that shot. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> no, 
es lo que te hizo. She's still getting hit very hard, damn. Oh fuck, I hate that worm. Hey, we, hey, 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 look, look at that. We have a worm here. I hate that worm. Let's try again. Okay. Ah, okay, I need to kill that worm immediately, so... Good lean. Actually, you go here. Shit. Shit, there we go. No, no, no. Fuck. Kill it. Oh, you son of a... watch more western streams i mean they're probably they're, eh, they're probably have to 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 busy uh, to be see and controlling the the sea inside of the the fandom there we go <coughs> So you know what? I will not be surprised if if uh, if one future event like we in in one future event like we we go to a sector and the sector is like a desert. That'd be pretty funny. Oh shit, no, no, kill the worm, kill the fucking worm. Oh, thank God it killed it. Oh yeah, the, the winning the pool in GFL too. <laughs> I mean, I, I feel like that wh whoever did that mod, like, did it knowing that it was gonna cause that problem, like... It was a malicious mod. Because I, I don't think no no fan of the game will actually like do that thinking, oh yeah, it's gonna be fun. No, it's gonna it's gonna cause problems for Mika, obviously. With that fucking worm. Oh welcome, welcome the welcome Mech Tang. Yeah, a Dune collab will be dope. Like, it would be perfect to that. Well, no. I mean, Dune is not a, it's not an anime, so... Shit, no, kill the worm! Ah, oh, too late.
I guess I guess that will maybe for the next movie for next Dune. Well, no. Well, whatever they 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 finish doing the the third movie. Classic sci-fi and a critique of Messiah figure. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I mean, it, 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 I don't, I don't know. It'd be an interesting idea if they, they, they try to tell a story similar to Dune in Nero Cloud because the professor is kind, who kind of can be seen as a messiah figure, figure, and we have the, the sanctifiers that are all about religion. I don't know. It, it it'd be an interesting idea if they. They, they do a collab and they kind of like hint at those themes. Although what, although what, what characters could we get from that collab? Could we get Paul, Chani, the princess? Who else? Duncan Idaho. <laughs> Tartar sector. <clears throat> So the Maya repeatedly regenerates herself and swarms Earth for Oceaneos in conjunction with the appearance of a horde of entropics out of seemingly nowhere. This combines with the movement of the labyrinth and enough to briefly place the two of them in a tight spot. Another animation for uh Man, it'd be I don't know. It'd be cool if like if they could get enough if Mika could get enough funding to they themselves make a new anime. And it'd be even cooler if they do it in the style of GFL2 animations, you know, instead of like going 2D, they go 3D. And they just they just make a full animation in, in, in that style. That'd be freaking awesome. And, and if they have complete control of the story and everything, that'd be even greater. We can't believe. We can't believe. One day when, when they are no longer an indie studio. Comes are cut and there are no signs of them coming back. And contact the teller or Alcyon's teams. That ought to be why I'll soon fire up the rescue arrow. Probably in danger too. Eos, have you found Tolemaya's source yet? This rate. It's calculated. There was never any way to pinpoint the source in the first place. Tolemaya's data is concealed by the activities of the labyrinth itself. Respective tinctures conceal each other in a synergistic manner. Yeah, kind of like healing chapter. Like healing chapter was made by Mika team, so it's like if they can have control of the animation, then they can do something great. As at at sorry, Salo. The comedy shorts were something. Yeah, the <laughs> I mean they're weird, but but they work as a comedy, I guess. But at least no, at least they they like. You can feel they were made for the fans. With all the jokes and like in, inside jokes and everything. Compared to the anime, which was made by people that don't know the source material and everything, so. Yeah. Her characteristics blend perfectly with, the, with that of this area. Demons really have been preparing for a long time. They couldn't have done this without countless iterations of refining their approach. Eos frowns. Your enemy seems to have prepared a truly dreadful scenario. Yet they haven't done any real damage beyond merely delaying them. What about the relic? Can we use it to... I mastered the basic application of it. There don't seem to be any barriers to usage for the relic and not only can it greatly increase our fighting strength, it's also specialized in killing in tropics. Elfro swings the relic by way of demonstration. The entropic horde and the numerous Ptolemaeus clones spring among it, killed over like a scythe wheat, 
with practically zero operance expenditure. But, but it doesn't solve our current problem. We can achieve the same effect with just a bit of effort. The problem is Tolemaya. Her existence is making the labyrinth shift more frequently. I could perform an in-depth analysis on the relic. I'll try using it to destroy this entire region altogether. Which is plain to see that demons won't give me that time. There's a brief silence as the old photos and Eos shift from one approach to another. Trying to find the right answer amidst the countless possibilities. Just then, there's another disturbance that extends high into the sky. Where the walls conceal it, the Othros and Eos can still feel it. A rescue? No, it's just an ordinary signal arrow. They reached the entrance to the middle ring. You need to split up, Eos. I have a bad feeling about this. You say that with an evil f smile on your face. What the fuck, dude? Emotion manga. That's not a bad idea. But then again, that kind of be that will kind of be like a mission novel, isn't it? W wouldn't be. I have no evidence to back up my guess. The telling on the other side are probably in trouble. The demons can spare all this effort just to deal with us, then. No need to explain. I trust your judgment. What should we do? Destroying Ptolemyia's main body is not practical, but with the relic to help clear away the nearby mirror images, I can still blind her briefly. Hmm. Hamburger. Mmm, delicious. Welcome, welcome, Darius. Welcome to the stream. Hamburger. Oh, not, not. You, you, you make me hungry now. Just an opportunity to leave. I will draw their attention. Don't worry about my safety. The demons do not constitute a threat to me. They also not answer. Her crisp movements serve as a response. The two of them strike at once and stir up the nearby operands. Over a dozen Ptolemyia's mirror images freeze up, and once they are all destroyed, with the entropics around them. They do not exchange further words. Once the desired result is achieved, the two of them promptly split up. So in this time, Elfros infuses more operands into the relic, going out of his way to create a conspicuous trail. We'll meet in the middle ring. Not long after Eos leaves, the interrupted horde closes in. In their midst is a Ptolemaia who is dramatically different from all the other clones before her. Did you leave at last? I thought it would be a while longer before I could isolate you. The source? Interesting. Do you think you chose this time to rebuild your main body? Is it because you are feeling confident in your victory? It seems Tatter has prepared a generous welcome gift from my isolated self. Or do you mean that Maltira is nearby? Elfros quips up an eyebrows and the relic tremble. If so, I would like to meet her. I have to say, you demons have put on quite a show for me today. In your view, the sanctifiers represent the order of Magracia, while chaos and discord is the entropic signature trait. Is that right? Yet why do I see no wisdom in you? Only stubbornness. That smile. That damn smile. Only Maya shakes her head in clear disappointment and claps. Then mirror images and over a dozen different species of entropic step forward from the horde and form a neat line in front of the Osphorus. I don't mind repeating the message that Lady Malkira bears no malice towards your arrival, but only wishes to offer the piece of advice. Rather than waiting for you to be isolated, it would be better to say that all of Tartarus was looking forward to being alone with you. All this was prepared for your sake. There is no need to be so wary. I have no intention of working with demons. If you intend to confuse me, there is nothing more for us to say. They are neither your dance partners, nor they intended to deceive you. They are merely practice dummies to prove the truth of my words. Sunny background? So sorry, my 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 family, my sister is still at home and she's like screaming. I don't know why. I need to like better isolate my 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 doors. 
There are no RPK variants here, right? Well, you, you just miss her. She just left. Don't worry, she, she'll be back. Also, welcome, Internal Force. Welcome to the stream. Glad, you, glad to see you. Let, let you enjoy this. Yeah, no, the, the RPK variant is, will be back soon enough. Dolomaya curtsies and takes a step back before indicating that she should proceed. The entropics will not show kindness toward the vast majority of Magasia beings, and certainly never give them a second chance. You, however, you are different. The first message which Lady Malkir has asked me to convey to you is... The change has nothing to do with Tartarus. The entropics have not been enhanced in any way. The sense of dread which the sanctifiers feel it stems entirely from your own weakening. You can dispense with this war pointless wordplay, be it white area weakening or environmental entropiation, you have many ways to interfere with sanctifiers. I might hate demons, but I must acknowledge that you have qualities of which you can be rightfully proud. Otherwise, what would you stand to to toe to toe with your rivals? The frontliners of the reverse tower. What do I... What I do not understand is this. What will make you choose this seemingly reasonable yet utterly ridiculous approach to try and sway my reason and fate? Nothing more than the facts, of course, O oh, greater sanctifier. As you have said, the interpret have many ways to interfere with the sanctifiers. In addition, this is the Tartarus sector, our home. It will not be a surprise for us to deploy any and all means to defend it. However, Olamaya smiles. The smile contains feelings which cannot easily be put into words, and it displaces Elfworth for some reason. I'm scared. You should be. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Oh man, we need, we need a spas 12. That, could, that, that will fix any problem, and will deplete our rations as well. You understand what those feelings are. Below the facade of kindness lies mockery, and below the mockery is a sa hidden sense of pity. Why? Why will an entropic look at a sanctifier that way? Shadow falls over Elthor's hair, hair door for in passive face. Adding extraordinary means, entropics cannot affect your core programs or your base layer logic, and they certainly cannot limit or waken your atroce at night infinite range of and with pinpoint accuracy. Practice charges are there for you to verify the truth of this, Lord Greater Sanctifier. Why not calm yourself down and see what you might not, what you might or might not have noticed? Operant output, program efficiency. No, those are too obvious. Why not check your service restriction with the stability of your system redundancies? Examine everything, every angel, every, every demon, well, every angle, every detail. See, there's some invisible high voltage line that's crushing your pitiful sight. Dolemaya's smile grows more and more mirthful. After a round of silent experimentation by Eosphorus, his face falls. Just like Dolemaya said, all these little aspects that he will normally never have needed to pay attention to, all these regions which the Entropic School have influenced, have been silently shackled and bound. And neither Eos nor Eosphorus notices beyond the potency of their attacks just now. His self-diagnostic routines, firewalls, every single security measure that should have highlighted these restrictions, none of them gave a single warning to him. Almost a thought. The gods have laid down a ban. Whom? So the, god, the gods, us, the humans, are basically nerf the sanctifiers crack <laughs> in the blink of an eye the summoned mirror image of an entropic score disintegrates Elfor slowly puts away the relic and initiates his net wars one by one utterly ridiculous seems you do not believe me not that i don't understand first time i heard this i didn't believe it either to think the agents of justice 
Antifars were nothing more than toys of the gods. How laughable. Still, doesn't matter. Lady Malkira anticipated this response from you. The second message she wanted me to send you was... You should not have entered the Tartarus sector and you certainly should not have taken the Rubik's map. That is the first red line the gods set down for you. Oh, interesting. So because they entered the Tartarus sector and they we took the Rubik's map, the gods, humans, or, or like you're saying, users like in Tron, they, be they basically nerf the sanctifiers but that makes me think that it's probably not the creators of magrasia but like whoever infected magrasia with the entropic virus has whoever did that probably has like a administrator privileges in magrasia so that's why he can do that maybe because probably for sanctifiers all the all the humans are basically gods when the faithful Violet are stricter, it's only natural that they be punished. The Nora Slash, the entropic and mirror images around Ptolemyas which have not yet fallen are suddenly destroyed. Eosphorus raises his hand, pointing the relic edge towards Ptolemya. In a rare display, he takes a fighting stance. I shall eliminate you from Magrasia and scourge you from the cloud. I shall exterminate you. You will know that my soul is the one that is favored by the gods. Oh yes, gods favor you and condone your actions. They grant you the right to sample the forbidden and to cross the red lines. So there is a price to be paid for that. Before she finished speaking, the labyrinth stone the luchers and the huge walls shift to obscure to the Maya form. Christ stands before you. You may continue if you wish, O oh Sanctifiers. But before that, why not head over to this place and take a look? The massive walls close shut and Ptolemyas is nowhere to be seen. Only a set of coordinates and Ptolemyas' ethereal voice remains in their place. Tatarus offers you two rows. No. Tatarus offers you two toes for your arrival. But hospitality is not in the Entropic's nature, and by Lady Malkira's orders, the hunting lances have been loaded. This is the warning that follows the advice, greater sanctifiers. The first one. If you wish to tour the home of the Entropics, you must pay the appropriate fee for entrance. With the coordinates in hand, Elphoros clenches his fist. The other sector in the other wing. With Ptolemy stood stopping, Elphoros met with practically no resistance as he walked as he stalks through the labyrinth. He rushes to the coordinates without regards for stealth. As he turns a corner, the labyrinth suddenly opens up before him and Neothoros sees what looks like construction site. Along with its familiar form. <gasps> Atlas, no! Neothoros approaches Atlas and puts the relic beside, before sitting down beside him. His hands move to make the sign of the star that his chest, but then they stop for some reason. He wants to speak, but the words will not come out. Elfros raises his hand and places it over Atlas' face, closing his eyes. He's dead. Atlas? It's so late, what's the matter? You have to be standing by undergoing maintenance now, right? Or did Alcione pester you until you couldn't rest? The girls are already on standby. They were going around hand in hand all day again today. Eros and I took some pictures. Want to see? As long as you're having fun. Buddy! Eros first raised his eyebrows in resignation and he accepts a bottle from Atlas. A drink. This is one of Electra's new concoctions. You know, I don't replenish anything other than my operas at times like this. I'll try some. It's pretty good. You. Godfrey will check his head, then uncaps the bottle and takes a sip. Hmm. It's strange. So, what do you want to talk to me about? 
Surely it wasn't to get me drunk with you, was it? Uh, as if. Hmm. Actually, I came to ask. The operation in the Tataru sector is next month, right? Yes, next month. You don't need to worry about too much, this mission. I know Bertelli and Neos will be handling the mission planning. But I'm not here to question or oppose it. I'm just... a little uneasy. After a smile fades from his face, and his jovial face turns serious for one. This is Tartarus we're talking about. Yes, it is Tartarus. Are you afraid of it, Atlas? I've never been afraid of doing my job. I never bulk up probing my loyalty to the gods. But there are things which I fear. Atlas' expression softened. I'm afraid I won't be able to watch Alcyon practice with her bow, or sample Electra's drinks. Or Herbert Teller's lame jokes. Hey, my jokes aren't lame. Not always. I'm afraid of many things, Seostros. Let them come true. After that, sighs heavily, as though he's speaking to himself, or perhaps trying to extract a pledge from Neosphorus. I'm prepared for the worst if it should come to pass. It's a four walk break right there. True. Also, that, that that's a that's like a that's like a, that's a perfect callback to chapter four, I think, of my animation. Because in in chapter four of my animation, I also make that joke of, "Hey, my jokes aren't lame." That, that, that this 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 this, this <laughs> professor bad reference. Ah, uh, that's a perfect call. That's a perfect callback from wherever I make an animation of this story. I need to crash asleep. See ya. Ah, oh, that's okay, Panzer. Have a thanks for thanks for thanks for sticking around. Have a have a good night's sleep, Panzer. Sleep sleep well, and and sleep with the sanctifiers. It won't come to that. Relax, Atlas. Go for the path Atlas' shoulder. Perhaps we'll complete our mission easily, like those... Oh, like those light nobles Eos have been reading recently, where justice trumps without difficulty. What, what kind of light novels? That makes sense. But what kind of drink will Electra brew up when the time comes? Hopefully it won't taste like the one today. Ha ha ha. Oh, I'll give it a chance. Atlas hoists his own bottle in a half joking way and signals a toast to Westphoros. The latter clinks his bottle with Atlas with a face full of resignation. Next time, you should go trick Bertelli into drinking this stuff. <laughs> oh, I believe in Bertelli. Hmm? What? I believe in you too, Westphoros. I'm sure you'll find a way to lead us to victory. Just like in the past. Atlas raises his empty glass and looks him in the eye. His face is serious. Yes, just like the past. Oh. Oh, okay, I, I can see that the Ophros really is hurt by Atlas' death. So yeah, this, I mean, so yeah, this is uh, an Elthoros before going bad, I guess, so. As he struggles free of the scene from the past, Elthoros removes the badge from Naplas, which represents his status as a great sanctifier and slowly closes his eyes. I am so sorry. But somebody will pay for this. They will. I would believe. Yeah. Women yeah, claim. Let's go with this. Alright, let's go with this one.
Okay, this looks easy, so let's just... When Elfro starts smiling. But when he starts smiling, shit gets serious. Or evil, depending on... Depending on which Elfro is. Maybe, you know what? I, I mean... I mean, yeah, pro Elfro's probably is... Is somehow infected with entro entropy, which made him go evil. But uh, maybe a, a twist will be that he's not actually, he's not actually infected. He's just something happened that made him lose his faith in the gods, humans, and everything else. And so he just decided that, okay, let's let's support the entropic. They are the true gods. Something like that. Something like that. Like something that crushes his fate so bad that just makes him go, yeah, you know what? Fuck the gods. Entropy is where it's at. I feel like that may be a revelation. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe just Elker is like the same. It's like she's like. I, be I believe in the. I believe in the Osphorus and so I, I joined him. Elphoros watched the GFL anime and lost faith. No, Elphoros, don't! There's still a chance that a new anime will be made. Don't lose faith! Everything is possible. Maybe with the money they just gained from Reverse Collapse, they can make a new enemy. With Blackjack and Hookers. <laughs> yeah, we did, we did get that fight. And also, like, a lot of, like, cute moments of M4 being a cinnamon roll. And just the, the air team being, like, friends eating together. I mean, there, there are some cool moments in the anime, like... It's just, overall, it's just not that great. <laughs> and the sub mod bros eight true like, I feel like maybe the 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 enemy could be could I don't know maybe could be edited down to like it could be probably re edit and some parts reanimated so that they could be fixed, maybe? Execu yeah, Executioner was pretty cool. Claim. Oops, I need to like... That's a lot. Six. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, fourteen. Yeah, there's a lot of bullshit moments and there are a lot of cool moments in the anime. It's like you could maybe like, you know what? I'm, I don't know. I'm 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 getting interested in maybe 
taking the anime and like re-editing in re-editing and maybe re-editing you know re-editing the anime into maybe instead of like being 12 episodes maybe like just two two hour movies and maybe like putting some better effects better sound better music I don't, that'd, be a, that'd be an interesting project. I don't know, it'd be, it'd be any, I don't know, it's an idea. Siona and I struggle as we turn corners up your corner in the labyrinth. Oba seems less common these days. Yeah. I think because Ovas are like more expensive. Or I guess because I I, see, I, I think Ovas, they just reserve it for like special DVDs and Blu-ray Blu releases. But yeah, they, you kind you kind of don't see Ovas too, too often, too often. You only see them for like something very special. Yeah, what, what? I mean, yeah, if, if the Gear Frontline anime was successful, maybe we could have, we could have seen all of us of adapting the night chapters. That, that would have been cool. Alcione and I struggle as we turn corners after corners in the labyrinth. Alcione is on the brink of blue screen in due to excess stress. And she carries the unconscious Electra on her back, carries all the tasks like a puppet, operating on her most basic reflexes. Alcyon. Alcyon! The girl finally responds after I raise my voice. She looks up at me, their pupils are filled with a black digital backdrop, without as much as a symbol in them. Oh shit. If you find. This too shall pass. We just have to kill her. Don't forget you still have a mission to carry out. Now let's let's call her. She deserves a hug. I'll send again to pass my back. The smile she forces to her face looks worse than her crying. But I probably look the same way too. The, the, the digital backdrop in her eyes slowly fills with faint ripples of ones and zeros. But they soon vanish into blank confusion once again. Come, Alcyon. We need to get into the middle ring. This is for Atlas too. Uh, before I can react, a purple flash grazes my shoulder. I look back, gritting my teeth against the pain, and see an entropic that looks far more dangerous than its fellow student in the corner. Oh. Oh. Marcella? Alcione eyes regain some of their calm, as though my grunt has flipped a switch in her. Alcione? Alcione, are you feeling better? I need to be dead or tell her. Alcione draws her bows and loses an arrow. The target is easily evaded. This is bad. Alcione is in no condition to fight. We can't keep going on like this. This is as far as I can travel with strength alone. After sheltering Alcyon and Electra behind me, I look towards the elite entropic that is slowly approaching me and send my system into overdrive, looking for some way to solve a current predicament. I'm a greater sanctifier, and if I know a combat specialist, I ought to have some degree of self-defense ability. Come down, Bertrand. Do I deal with it? Damn it, if only Atlas were here. That's right. Atlas said this. What a surprise. Really? You did the same thing though. Me? You are really good with short swords. And even better with weapon schematics. If you don't believe me, you can check your database and see. Short sword combat techniques. Database. Got it. 
activating command program, initiating learning module, no loading action commands. Quickly load the relevant programs and take Electra's weapons from her waist. Take a deep breath and step into the oncoming and trapped space. Bring it on! I follow the program's prompt and engage the entropics in Mel with close calls galore. There is a metallic clash and the entropic force of my blade plunged deep into its body. The monster's eyes flare with rage and liquid operands splash from the graces of my body. <laughs> Visual system replaced data I never seen before and load more data from an inner cloud system that have long since been overloaded by stress. Also, Electra. Rules of nature! Fainting in watches over me. How long have I fought? How much longer must I still fight? I can't. At least. Now. Before I can finish my self-directed pip talk, the enemy has said on the opening my day state has given it. And an unavoidable fatal blow closes in at me. I reflexively throw myself backwards, and the narrow cloud goes white. Is this the end? Sorry, Atlas. Did my best. Yes, just why you can leave the rest to me. Familiar voice fills my ears, and my back suddenly lands in a Expanse of pillow softnesses. Oh. Oh, this. What's this feeling? <laughs> Two hands reach out from behind me, one wrap around my waist, while the other extends past my hands and catches the incoming blade. Someone has caught me from behind. The last thing my nearly overloaded senses see is a pair of gentle eyes filled with self reproach. I was late, Perteller. I'm sorry. Eos? Atlas? Shh. Sleep. Rest. It'll all be okay soon. Her coaxing whisper transmuted all over sounds in a pleasant melody. Even the entropic growls fade away. This is the last bit of information I, cons I consciously process. At the entrance to the ring. System hibernation complete. Now performing self test. Self test complete. System normal. Now initiating. Alcyon! I suddenly return to wakefulness. I catapult myself into upright position. Oh shit. You're awake, Berteller. Relax. This is the entrance to the middle ring. Eos brought all of you over. We're safe for now. I'm sorry we were late. Oh, Percy, Percy doesn't have to know. Don't worry, Percy won't find out. This is just memories. This is not real, just memories, right? This is just, it's just fake. Would they still suck? Yeah, you were fucking late. Did you complete your mission? Yes, it was an IRG for gold in the other ring. Elphilos shows me a plain looking long sword. Found a relic that the first generation of sanctifiers left behind in the Tartarus sector. It possesses the natural ability to slay in tropics and it will be one of the pillars of our upcoming mission. First generation sanctifiers. So, Elphilos wasn't like the first sanctifier created. So there are sanctifiers created from way before when Magracia was made then. Interesting. A relic, you say? I see. And what is our upcoming mission? And here I thought you asked something else before going to that question. We can better morph him through actions right at words. It wasn't anybody's fault. The suffering that we did not plan for must be given back to the enemy. 
not vented on our comrades. Besides, you completed your strategic objective. That's enough. The fact remains that I did not prepare enough for this and did not anticipate the intrepid to do this. No excuse. I brought Atlas Sanctifier's badge back. It's with all shones now. Do you want to see it? The Ophros glances over, his eyes downcast. Visible angry cat watching the simulation. Your cat or my cat? Because my cat is doing the same thing right now. He's just like angrily watching at my screen. Because I'm not paying attention to him. Hellfrost glances over, his eyes downcast. Punish, punish me, bird. <laughs> no, no, don't say that. No, daddy, no. Daddy bird, no. I follow his line of sight to Eos, who is tending to both Alcyone and Electra. I seal the wounds to Electra's body and apply the merchant's patches to the corresponding system. Don't worry too much, Alcyone. She's alright. You only just recovered from a neurocloud breakdown. You alright? I'm fine. I can't still fight. Alcyone, you don't have to push yourself too hard. You still have us. Those some breath, Alcyone, and gently pats her back. If you're in pain or if you're lost, you can try praying to the gods. Just like we used to do in the Chamber of Holy Discourse. After a simple return to the embrace of the gods, he... is not here. Alcyone and Bakusai finally regained some of their colors. He struck his atlas patch with Eophoros gave her. Her voice is very soft, so she's whispering to him. Scriptures can save a sanctifier for Persian Tartarus. It's not there. Perhaps the Almighty God truly are omnipotent. They never help Atlas or show their line in this unclean land. She's starting to not believe. Come to see Arthur's ups Percy Hackless up. I mean, there's a lot of art of Percy just being jealous. My cat was possessed by Percy. Well, now he's sleeping, so at least he's chilling. It's okay, Eos. We're on a mission. A very important mission. So, when Gingoli takes the bat into her embrace and he's stroking it through his clothes. She looks up again. There seems to be a fire burning in her eyes. Sorry to make you worry. I'll make sure I take revenge for Electra and Atlas. Alright, we'll be with you. I'm in full cat girl mode. <laughs> she, can, she, can, she can fight with Betty in that mode. I rested enough. Much longer until we can head out, Lord Theosphorus. We can move to the next. We can move when the next labyrinth ship window arrives. On seeing Alcione approach him, Theosphorus doesn't say much more, only nodding slightly to her and granting his tacit permission to take part in the upcoming operation. Alright, I understand. I'll go check in on our Le Electra. Oh, hi, hi, Zero. Welcome to, welcome to the stream from over there on Discord on, the, on, on Discord on Twitch. Right now we are more we are mourning the death of Atlas. The Ophros just gained a sword. And we are ready to delve deeper into the labyrinth so that we can do the next part of the mission, which I don't know which it, what is. Yeah, we we're we are one sanctify down and he was the coolest body goodbye atlas you were gone too soon for us Osion. she's a strong independent great sanctifier else she needs no man i mean she needs no sanctifier
Well, I'm going to take a screenshot of that. <clears throat> yes. There was pause before she can speak. The nods and heads towards Alcyon and Electra again. Meanwhile, Elfros watches them from afar. Looks like Alcyon pulled herself together. I trust Bat should be able to give her strength. Yes. You have a question to ask, don't you, Berteller? I can't keep all anything right. from you after all. Sign looks straight at the Osphorus. Hmm, interesting question. Oh, well, welcome, Blue. Oh, well, well, welcome, C well, well, welcome, Zero. Welcome to YouTube, Blue. We were looking the whole time. Oh, nice. Thank you for sticking around. Just finished three chapter of Reverse Collapse, and oh my god, it was fucking amazing. Fuck, I... Dude. Dude, you're just hyping me up more for Reverse Collapse. Ah. I need... I need to... I, I'm... I, I, what day is today? It's the 27th. I need to, like, wait for, like... Five more days, and I'm gonna... Have, I'm gonna get paid and I'm gonna buy fucking reverse collapse because <sighs> everybody is everybody just saying how good it is, man. I need to play it. I can't wait to play it. But yeah. So, why did Kane show up there? Why did the Entropics get so much stronger? And why couldn't Atlas stop her? <clears throat> <laughs> the reason I gave Alcione was that the Rubik's map contained malware which affected us the moment we recovered. Notice the strange phenomenon that occurred after retrieving the map. That wasn't something that could be explained with malware. Like I said, that was the reason I gave Alcione. Right now, she's not in a state where she can digest the truth. What reason would you give me? Oh, interesting. Berteller, your attitude towards the gods has always been the fairest and most objective post created sanctifiers. You have never worshipped them or stopped in awe of them. If I were to tell you that the gods wanted us to eliminate the entropics, or also secretly limiting our abilities to eliminate the entropics, how would you react? Well, me personally, I will say that just means that there are bad gods and good gods. The bad gods are the ones that made Magracia, and the bad gods are the ones that injected Entropics into Magracia and are trying to infect it. <clears throat> and these two here I couldn't, couldn't buy it from the bakery <laughs> still. I'm sure we I'm sure uh, I'm with you I'm, soon enough, Salo, soon enough we can buy it. I'll get it by and by. Get it by and by. I'll get it by... By? Like in quotes? Well, really, that story. Not like a good old 100 year old rifle cannot cannot do against a fucking mech. I will overcome my limitations. I will overcome my limitations. Reach out to the stars and eliminate the entropics. I will do the impossible and see the invisible. I will doubt the gods. It's not a bad hypothesis. Oh, but it's like in due time. Oh, okay. Also, I, I'll get it in due time. Okay. Yeah, the game is not going nowhere. I'm probably if if, if you if you want to wait, maybe they make another uh, discount in the summer summer discount. You know. 
Or guys, but it's so hard to hype it up. No, that's not. Don't, don't worry. Don't, don't worry, Blue. It's good to be, it's good to hype it up. More people need to buy Reverse Collapse Operation Bait Kirker available now on Steam. Mika, do, Mika doesn't have to pay me to shield for the game. I'll do it free. <laughs> Who knows the moist nugget is a secret weapon that smites the entire game. Praise the moist nugget! Okay, I don't know what to choose. Mm -hmm. I will doubt the gods. The action makes no sense. I would like to know why the gods will do such a thing. Even if the gods were wrong, I will never stop fulfilling my mission to eliminate the trap. Why is that? I look at the distance. Even here, the sky we see is nothing more than a fraction of Magracia. Tartarus is a disease that encroaches on Magracia. Our mission is to fight it. No matter the cost. No matter the sacrifice. Just for us. Do you think the Sanctifier destroyed the Entropics for the gods? Oh. The truth is, to me, we aren't fighting for the sake of divine revelations. Sanctifiers were born to ensure the safety of Magracia. We are the defenders of the cloud, or true Carlin. And if you encounter more restrictions while heading the call, what happens if we continue forward into the Tartarus sector and encounter more ridiculous power? Then we just have to overcome them. Yeah, we'll overcome them. We'll fight the power! Just who the hell do you think you are? I my gaze away from Alcyon and look directly at the Osphorus. Because you rejoice and boy before evil. So do I smite you and offer you up to heaven as a sacrifice? I shall eliminate you from Magasia and scourge you from the cloud. I shall exterminate you. You will know that my soul is one that is favored by the gods. Only through order can we glimpse the truth of revelation. The blessed must engrave the gods in their hearts, to feel their will, and seek their glow. Theosphorus, in your opinion, which of these commands is the most important? I shall eliminate you from Garcia and scorch you from the cloud. I think so too. You're right, Berteller. Thank you. You've always been the voice of reason for me. I simply wanted to state my... I simply state my own short-sighted opinions. You answered my question, too. Now then, for the next question. Are you confident that you can overcome the gods' restrictions? Of course. Elphus excel and put the relic away. In addition to the relic, we also have a trump card similar to the judgment mode. But you might not remember it, and we work out together had a lot of room for error. As long as we can finish our task in the middle ring, we'll be able to handle all the malware that comes our way. In that case, before I can finish, I hear a thunderous grinding. The window for the labyrinth shifts up. Let's go, Bertha. Yes, we can't let Atlas dead be in vain. We won't let our bro die in vain. This guy with that index finger. Let's fucking go, guys. Oh, that's a that's a ooh, that's too too deep off. Right then. 
Oh shit, I got I got destroyed. Oh, shit. Oh hmm. Now let's get you this. You go here, you go here. Try again. I'm gonna deactivate this. This <laughs> will hack the restrictions. Take oh. These will hack the restrictions. Pandora's box, no! Let's not, let's not open Pandora's box. Let's not fuck too sober. Yeah, silly Percy, you're not a tank, you're a healer. You're not a warrior jet either. Don't fucking use the ultimate like that. God damn it. Okay, you go here. 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 Go here. Ooh, my... You're gonna make a mate, Stylo? That's nice. That's good. Classic Argentine drink. And I, I wanna I wanna try out mate. I I I I don't think I ever drink mate. I don't think I have ever drink a mate. I remember that my grandmother had a 
Amate Amate cup. But I never saw her like make a mate with it. Why do you move? Stop moving. Sell something. I'll sell this. Defend the weak. Eh. Oh, upgrade. Yeah. Ooh, I, oh, I could. Nice. I can. Okay, that's pretty good. I need to just check. Okay, which one is this? Desperate race, Byron Surge. Okay. You know, let's get all the Byron Surge mentions. Ah, come on. The deck size. Okay, I need to sell. Let's sell the... No, let's not sell those ones. Let's sell the... Well... One more. Let's sell... Upgrade one other function. This one. <coughs> Let's just overclock just just in case. Oh, there's one uh, an extra fight. All right, let's go. Not, oh my god, I need to. Oh, shit, okay, let's use this one. The window, I'm gonna mute.
But before we continue, I'm gonna go and get my cat some food. I'm gonna actually do because I'm gonna do like insert an ad. So don't go, don't worry, guys. I mean, I'm I'm not. You're gonna you're not gonna you're not you're not gonna lose anything. I'm just gonna go and feed my cat. I'm gonna do something that my sister wants me to do. So I'll be back. I'm kind of in.
for me. Ignore me, I'm not back yet. Making food on it. Um, steel stuff.
That was a long cat feeding for me. I had to, had to feed my cat and I had to feed my sister. It's the effects of civil mate. But uh, the true, the true Argentinian experience. Thanks, Augie. It's the purple paper, and, and now I'm gonna sip some Inca Cola. <laughs> the cat rolls with so much belly. Yeah, he's yeah he's getting fat. So I'm, I'm so now we have to like try and get him to you know, fucking shit the cat. He just he just he just break open my door. I'm closing. How okay. cute. Also got some popcorn. Courtesy of my sister. They're about there. I, mean, I feel bad for my sister. She she and my mother are about to go are about to see Madame Webb. Why? Because there's nothing they don't have anything else to see and they just want to see it. And I just say, but you know it's bad, right? Why don't you watch something better like a Ghibli movie? And they're like yeah, we don't care. We just want to see something bad. So yeah, they're now gonna watch Madame Web. You know, you know how you know how the meme goes. Es solo de huevo near. So yeah. <clears throat> anyway, now what did you know? Shall they? Do you feel on me? <laughs> I really love that moment in the GFL anime where M4 said, It's time to be the girl's frontline, and, and she and she frontlined all over the Sangi ferry. Truly an, an iconic moment. Sorry, I'm eating popcorn. I'm like I'm, I'm like a madman. I'm eating popcorn with a spoon. Yeah, the moment when when M M16 said to a 416, <clears throat> I am I am the AR team, and she but I blew it all over 416. <laughs> anyway, let's continue our reading book. Break of discovery. Blend into the traces of upheaval as you grasp the scattered remains. Man, something really cool about Progress Collab that I've seen in some streams is that it's fully voiced, so all the all the uh, like every single uh, cutscene is voiced by the characters. So like you, you just have to listen to them. You don't have to read. That's pretty cool because. My voice kind of gets tired after reading a whole event of Girls Frontline in the Cloud. 
gonna be cool to use, not have to read, just have to react. I can't wait. Oh yeah, a true man's front lane. <clears throat> Enigma. Oh well, we're back to the we're back to the present day with the girls. Nice. This is a weird cup of popcorn because I put some melted uh, butter put some sugar and I also put like cheese Gatito, no, meow That's a good way to make your cat leave You just him and he just left He just runs away <clears throat> Yeah, this popcorn is weird but tasty. No, not English voices. It's only Japanese voices. But even then, it's like, that's perfect. It's got some pretty good voiceovers as well. Like it's, it's got, it's got some great voices. I don't know if Mika, if you ever want to like do a an English voice pack for Reverse Collapse, you know where to call me. I mean, that would be that would be, be great, man. I mean, what character of Reverse Collapse could I attempt to voice? Maybe one of the one of the guards that just gets killed immediately, like Commander. Commander, we have. Commander, the, the enemy has breached the, the perimeter. Oh! And then you get, get shot and dies, and nobody, you, you never hear my voice ever again. That'd be pretty cool. Just to voice a character to get killed. <clears throat> anyway. Right. Inside the admin center of the Enigma sector. Donina and Newman stare nervously at the code shifting on the monitor. After checking and rechecking, Antonina hits the enter key. Commencing rewrite number 9354. <clears throat> you got an ad right now? In the in the post there was no stewards, really? Oh. Huh. You know, I bet you I bet Yeah, I, I bet like YouTube knows that when the stream is silent, it doesn't do it doesn't put ads, but when something happens in the stream, boom, an ad. Like fucking YouTube knows. They're listening to it. They're listening to me. They're like the moment you're engaged, boom, you get an ad. Defenses IFF module rewrite successful. Search module rewrite. Rewrite fail. <coughs> Are you going to hear me before? Uh, sorry. Oh, yeah, you can hear me because I, it wasn't an ad. Damn it. Reverse collab ad? That would be a good ad, right? Like, you get a reverse collab ad. You're like, well. That'd be pretty cool, like, like, I don't know if, if I could, like, collab with Mika team and they just, like, do something so that I can, like, press a button and boom, you get a reverse collab ad in the middle of the stream. That would be, like, acceptable, right? Like, a reverse collab ad, like, that'd be, that'd be great. Mika, please, I need money.
Free try. Warning. Fragment controls commencing. Advise immediately withdrawal. Psst. There is a harsh burst of electronic static and then Antonina monitors and equipment are toast. Oh shit, she, she said the S word. Oops, no, shit. Fuck. Relax, Miss Antonina. It's enough that you managed to rewrite a portion of Greater Sanctifier code. Now, like, could only entropics and humans could do that. Antonina shakes her head. That's because the fragments, they contain some code strings that are very familiar. But this isn't anywhere near enough to pinpoint the professor's location and... There are some shifting code sequences in there that I can't even read. Go read it from the inside and start which comes. I'm sure that will help. Quick screenshot. <clears throat> are you kidding me? I could talk to the professor, I won't even need to override the locator program. Pardon me, got too excited. The admin center briefly falls silent. Only the sound of Athena typing still echoes inside it. <clears throat> Antonina, why don't you patch me in? I'll go inside the fragments and look for the professor. Persecutor is the first to speak and break the silence. It's the best way. You need someone to send you info from the inside. And you also need someone to leave a backdoor inside the fragment for the override program. In that case, let me go back into the fragment is the best choice. Also, I rest enough. I'm ready to try again. Don't be a hero. Don't be a hero. <laughs> you won't be able to enter Rothfuss Fragment again without Santifier permissions. Tonina doesn't look up. Instead, she continues typing virus commands into the console window. So why not just give me a Santifier permission? You're making, it, you're making it sound too easy. What did you say? Since you can override parts of the defensive IFF modules, then I'll be able to enter the fragment if I find this guy as a sanctifier. I even suspect that the professor might be in such a state. You... <sighs> you know, the first body of the professor. The, 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 the first bro, I will say. He's, a, he's, a, he's a, one of the few males in Magracia. We need more of them. <clears throat> Tonina's hands leave the keyboard, and after looking at Persicaria, she signs again. <clears throat> the professor's really is influencing you more and more. You're practically like them now. Oh. Huh? Really? We're making we're making we're making him go crazy that we we're making him have crazy ideas. I'm not praising you. Still, it is a workable solution. Although if you force your way in without any coordinates, you just get lost in the data turbulence, right? We'll try entering through here. Dorina brings up the memory data from the Osphorus fragment of the monitor. If I'm not wrong, this memory data concerns the war between the first sanctifiers and the entropics. Mm. The war between the first sanctifiers and the entropics. Oh. Yes, perhaps it's because this data is ancient, but its encryption is very basic. And when you combine that with the instability of the fragment itself. So we can disguise Pescari as part of the original data and send her into the world of the fragment. In that case, all Pescari needs to do is find a critical code node, and then she'll be able to open a backdoor with the override program. 
Not just that, if I can disrupt the data nodes, we have more freedom to act. Interesting. So basically, like, send Persicaria into the memory so that she can, like, open the back door for everybody to enter. <clears throat> However, the data consumed in the war is extremely dangerous. If her consciousness dies in there, it will cause permanent neural cloud damage. So if you die in the game, you die in real life. It was like sold out online. <clears throat> Perskara looks at the professor who's lying down some distance away. Then at Antonina who's typing rapidly on the keyboard. Then she takes a deep breath. Even so, I need to go. This time I need to share the risk with the professor. I want to stand by the professor's side for real. I knew you say that. Then I pulls up a storage sheet out of the terminal. The override program is ready. This time, I'll be monitoring things from the outside. I won't lose your data. What happened to the professor won't happen again. Thank you, Antonina. Rizakara reaches out to take it. Antonina doesn't let go of it. When you return Persicaria, you have to promise me this. If you met with any danger, whether you found the professor or not, you must immediately use the override program to make an emergency exit. Even if this attempt fails, as long as you get out, I can think of another way to get you back into the fragment to save the professor. And if all the data in the fragment is destroyed, do it. So, Donina realized that her voice is much higher pitched than usual. Takes a deep breath. But please, you have to come back. You have to. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> my, 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 my drop is killing me. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like Inception. It's like they're one one layer deeper, but it's still if you die in the dream, you 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 die in the real life. You got a heart, Antonina. Oh, relax. I'll be right back. Zikaria, that stupid professor led you astray. <laughs> we have corrupted Persicaria successfully. <laughs> Aww. These dorks. Not mean to be praised. Serena stopped the override program into Persicaria's arms. I'll be your navigator. Yes, thank you for all your hard work, Antonina. Say that for when you, the two of you come back. Persicaria, Anna, the install program is complete. Antonina, let's go and smile at Persicaria for the first time in a long while. Go then, and bring the professor back. Yeah, don't worry. Air tempering flames. The ascent line shines burning. We saw no holy illuminated. Not enough keys. Let's go anyway. Oh, yes, we're just. Where's the then? Right then. With this, so that we can get some extra help. Extra power, I mean.
operation, the professor is probably having fun with some girls inside that memory. So I'm going to capture him. Begins. <clears throat> She's so angry at the professor being unfaithful that she's just killing enemies herself. Huh. Prepare to be judged, demon. Ancient's long sword stabs into the low order entropic body. With the entropic fuck you. With the entropic clings to Benchen even in death. Persicara, who has been watching from a corner, breaks a sign of relief as the entropics and sanctifiers go dormant. I'm going to get my man. Nina, I reached the first target location. Glad you're okay, Persicaria. Your transmission suddenly cut off, and now I... It's okay, I encountered a small and dropped patrol. But it's safe now. Tell me what to do next. Phew. We studied the data you sent back and found a lot of special environment code on this battlefield. Special environment? Codes. From their names, they all seem to be some kind of sanctified structures. Structures. Like, say, those watchtowers we've seen before. So you're saying the objective point is where I am right now? That's right. It was once a sanctified watchtower here. And also where the data is most chaotic. If you activate the override program in places like this, you can guarantee a successful installation. And if you don't install any program, just moving around in these places will mess up the data since you are following, since you are following to this world. That will give us more room to work with. Understood. I'll head over to the designated location and activate the override program there. Please, please be careful. There are still many entropics at those coordinates. Remember, fall back immediately if you run into danger. <clears throat> Got it. Persicara crunches down and wildly moves towards her next objective. This area is littered with entropics and sanctified corpses. There are no words to describe this carnage. And though I know this is only data of the past, this is still... Purple and gold operands slowly rise up from the corpses. It starts us. This should be the objective point. There's only one entropic signal up ahead, while it's still unaware. The cat gathers her operands at her fingertips and leans out, then fires an operand blast at their target. <gasps> oh no, it wasn't enough! <laughs> Attack entropic immediately sends its target in tentacles towards Persicaria. Perskara nervously evades the attack and gathers operands in her hand against for another attack. <laughs> well, how? My attacks, they can't pierce its carpets. Interpret's attack strikes home on Persicara's location. There is nowhere to be found. Trina, my attacks, they aren't working on that entropic. Hmm. Let me see if I can alter their uh, values. Not working. I change the parameters here. She's hacking. This is the only first area that I really encounter such powerful tropics. I thought things would go smoothly in such significant locations. Only I had more operands. Professor, what would you do at a time like this? I probably pulled something out of my ass and. Suddenly, Persicara seems to remember something and takes off the override program that Lina gave her. The override program. Just open it. With the attack methods. In that case. Persicara, what are you doing? What a minute. Wait a minute. Are you going to. Persicara takes a deep breath. System command. Password. No sugar, no coffee. 
You were nerfed. What kind of password is that, girl? Remove data buffer zone. Restriction and connect to override program. You dummy! Don't connect directly to the override program! Force compatibility mode will cause this will cause will cause too much strain to your network cloud. However, Persicaria pays attention. Persicaria pays Antonina's advice no heat. Instead, she continues establishing a connection to the override program. <gasps> the discomfort form discomfort the discomfort from force compatibility mode tears up Persicaria's network cloud and the pain leaves her unable to speak. <gasps> okay, I got it. Just wait for me 30 seconds. Newman, help me out here. The Interpret finally acquires its prey again and eagerly charges towards Persicaria. I need to counterattack. Come on, walk already. Compatibility failed. Holy shit. Retry. Compatibility failed. Ignore, ignore all errors below class L1 and retry. Compatibility is successful. Initiate an override program. Open and transfer connection established. Now, Persicaria! Upon hearing Antonina's voice, Persicaria opens her hand and a familiar equipment appears in Persicaria's vicinity. Wait, is this... is this... is this... See what's... it's gonna... it's gonna happen what I think is gonna happen? Open spirits to the Entropic's body. This is... Honestly, the override program would have torn you to bits if Newman and I hadn't offloaded part of the calculation in time. Antonina, thank you. <coughs> the entropic distort and then evaporates into ash. I think you connect to the override program to your combat modules. It's my best to give it as familiar as form as possible. Yeah, after all, this isn't the first time that I had to bury large open holes in the black hole. Ah, you mean during the Enyaq incident? I don't even know what to say about you. Thank you, Antonina. Let's go to the next location and start up the override program. Newman, I am here too. Yes, Newman, you, you help a lot. This is... This is a girl's... This is the girl's uh, work. Woohoo, here I go doing something reckless again. You're incorrigible, Persica. She just can't keep getting away with it. Oh shit. Shit, too, too, too late. Come on, Percy, you can do it.
No, let's get this. If I remember correctly, allergy, allergy doesn't work that well with, with Persica. It works better with national with the with the idol. Okay, let's continue. The Entropasai watch stores are close by. Another 2,000 meters and she'll be right in the middle of them. There are too many of them. She looks at the purple ocean before her. Rizikara raises her hands and gathers up her hands between them. <clears throat> a single concentrated opening attack could hardly be effective. After purplizing the first rank of Entropics, Rizikara collapses to her knees. Rizikara, are you okay? Rizikara! I'm fine. Persicara struggles to her feet and grabs her, her wrist. I'll go start with the watchtower now. I should be able to install the back door then. Got it, we prepare too. Persicara, look out! A purple tentacle snake out from Persicara's blind spot and wraps her around her throat. Chokes and cough. I need more power. She needs, she needs a coffee with made coffee with a cup made of sugar. The lightning tenders make the heart of Persicara to maintain her normal processing. Let alone gather operands for a counterattack. It easily leaves Persicara to off the ground and then brutally slams her into the labyrinth wall. <clears throat> Fall back now! I'm picking up entropic data inside the watchtower. It's compute after attack firing solution. However, before Persecara can do anything, the now shading entropic lumps lumps bite firmly onto her body, and purple liquid entropy soaks to her clothes. <gasps> oh no. My mind feels so hazy. But she, I mean, she cannot, she cannot get infected by entropy inside a memory, right? Like that, that sounds too powerful for entropy to, to be able to do. <gasps> you really are a Percy cat after all. Hmm. Feeling a bit tired now. Maybe I'll take a nap for a bit. Let me handle the oasis. You can't count on me. Not good at computing or whatever, but I'll fix the oasis ASAP. Oh shit. I'm sure the oasis will be as green as this. Everyone can live without worries. Persicaria, this place is really like not describe it. I'm beginning to like it more and more. Oh. Like kill, I'm going to die here. Persicaria gathers her opponents again. But is interrupted by another incoming attack. <clears throat> Rizkara, withdraw for now. I'll think of something. You can't do precise calculation in your current state. Entropic's tentacle shuts out again. This time, Rizkara doesn't evade it. Let it scrap her throat. Oh no. 
She's getting kinky. It's time. I won't let anyone take away the people who are important to me. The opponent is gathering her hand. But her scar does not fire them off. Instead, she infused them into her arm. <laughs> now get out of my way! Raskara struggles free of the slinch and karate chop the entropic head. Purple operands spew forth, but before it can struggle further, its tentacles are already dropping limply. Type of sick, you see. Persicari, are, are you okay? It was insane what you did back there. Huh? Persicari stares numbly at her hands, and then at the little bottle on her chest. And the little blade of grass inside of him. Uh, Antonina, I'd like to help me with something. I want to change the override program's package from a healing bracelet to a sword. Scar, if you don't have the corresponding male combat modules, there will be entropics in the upcoming watchtower. My previous attack method was still inefficient. Got it. Hang on. The medical band that Persicara was using suddenly disintegrates and changed shape into an archaic, unadorned, unadorned long sword. Antonina, this is. In an emergency scheme sword based on Sanctifier's weaponry, you give it cell like nost routines in the fragment from picking up your healing bracelet. Do you want a different style of weapon? No, this will do. Well, it, it, so is she grabbing a, a, a sanctifier sword or a... Or is that soul sword? This guy raises the, the ancient sword. So, this time, it's my turn to wield the sword to protect everyone. You can do it, Percy. We believe in you. You mad lad. <clears throat> I mean, because we know she's she's gonna get like a a, a class change and she's gonna become a warrior. So, where she stares at Scalibur. Oh yeah, she probably has Scalibur. The 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 sanctifier Scalibur. Hello, Narish. Well, 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 hello, Narish. Nice to see you. Welcome to the stream. Of course, the day I have time to do stuff that both you, the only YouTuber that I know, watch, have both gone live. Of course, the volume slayer was stuck to a mouse. Ouch. Sorry. I hope it doesn't sound too hard. Oh, but don't worry, man. You can go watch your other VTuber. I, I'm not... I'm not jealous. Probably, probably she, she's more fun. <laughs> I'm just... I'm just... I'm just reading the story of this cat trying to find his... 
his cheating husband. Oh fuck, I'm gonna lose. No, no, no. Oh, thank God. Oof. Thank you. As she said, Yokata. Phew, this should be the last place. Antonina, will I run the override program immediately? No. This time, just plan the override program. I mean, the sword in the ground. We'll take it from there. Got it. Wait, what? Persegara plants the sword in the ground. There is a violent shaking and the arcade sword begins slowly with blinding light. The override program is working now. Now shooting down regional defense program and writing code. <sighs> That's weird. That's weird, right? It's like... I, I mean, I, I... I mean, that's that's funny because reverse collapse has to do with time travel. So I'm wondering if instead of like us watching the memories, we are instead traveling back... Uh, we're not, we're not, not traveling back, but somehow like doing some quantum mechanic shit where we are actually there in those events happening. I don't know. Close, yeah, yeah like a close time loop. Like, Persicara was the one that put the sword there and then in the f in the future, or, I mean later, Elfros take that sword where we as the professor are with him as a sanctifier. Oh, man, that's... That's a, that's a, that, yeah, that's like a matrix, time loop, self self fulfilling prophecy. Yeah, like a, yeah, like a strange gate moment. Only you do. You can, you can, you can link the the volume the slider volume to the cursor. That sounds. I don't know, that, that's not like it, it should be... I mean, if just doing this, it will basically... Blow your eye, blow your ears. Let me see Captain Thunderson, Twitch. Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought Rune that does either once or twice a meal the week. Oh, that's cool. Oh, so reverse collapse. <laughs> Up and down. Ah, left and right. Okay. Going left. So going left. Everything goes quiet. Ah. But still, I don't know. Uh, that'd be weird. Like you, you, you wouldn't be able to like change taps. I guess. Also, no, don't, don't mention reverse collapse. <laughs> no, I, I, I want. Uh, I'm gonna pro I'm gonna play Reverse Collapse next month because I'm waiting for I'm I'm waiting to get paid, and I should be getting paid next Monday, which is the the first of April. Hopefully it's not a joke, but I should be getting paid next month, and then I'm gonna buy Reverse Collapse and I'm gonna stream that shit. I feel bad because everybody's playing and it looks so good. Konami cheat works. Man. <laughs> also, the other, the other, the other, the other Gears Frontline streamers are also playing Reverse Collapse. So I'm like, I'm, I need to catch up, but I cannot yet. Yeah, no, thankfully I'm gonna be able to buy it before the, the sale ends. But I don't know if I'm gonna buy the Deluxe Edition, I mean... I mean, the skins, the skins, I, the, I don't know, I, I don't care much about skins and... I don't really, like, listen, I don't, I don't like... I don't mind not having the OST, like... I prefer to, like, just put it on a playlist on Spotify. Well, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna see how much money I have left. 
Hey, maybe I could buy the deluxe, the deluxe, the deluxe edition. Perseguera breathes a sign of relief as the surrounding environment finally stabilizes. Alright, now while the installer is still running, may I ask why you put yourself in such danger? I hear people recommend the standard edition. Oh, they're gonna add more to the deluxe edition in the future? Oh! I'm, I'm, in that case, maybe I just buy that one. I mean... Yeah, maybe, maybe I should buy the deluxe edition. I mean, how much how much extra is? But can you upgrade? I mean, can you up? I don't know. I don't know. I think that I remember. I, I remember in the Discord, uh, the official Discord, they say that you cannot upgrade, or at least it wasn't available right now, or something like that. Okay, let me check. Let me check quickly. Okay. Reverse collapse code name bakery 43 soles. Deluxe edition 50 71 soles. Which is like 40, 50, 60, like 30 more soles compared to the the normal edition. Hmm. The Deluxe Edition includes standard version, digital OST, art book, in-game special supplies, Antarctic Union Gala. Oh, okay. Players who purchase the base version can upgrade by purchasing DLC. Okay. Ah, no. The DLC and the, the, the Deluxe Edition DLC and the Reverse Collapse Bakery OST DLC. Oh, okay. Mm, interesting. I mean, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's not a bad, it's not a bad deal. I could probably buy it. <laughs> oh, the developer right now is playing reverse collapse. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to see how much in dollars. I have no idea. Well, I mean. Okay, forty-three dollar, forty-three soles is like twenty dollars. Yeah. For the base base version and the deluxe version is probably forty-three, probably twenty, thirty dollars, maybe thirty-five. Press the button in solid. How much in dollars? Ahí déjame, ahí lo va después. The button in solid. Oh, wait. CMS, what the fuck is that? Okay, okay. The deluxe edition is. Oh wait, what? What the fuck? Okay, the deluxe edition for me is basically twenty dollars, and the normal edition is just eleven dollars. What the fuck? That's pretty cheap. I mean, that's pretty cheap in dollars. Doesn't it change when you print? No, it doesn't change. For and at least for me, it doesn't change. But just j Baker Girl is just eleven dollars. That can't be right. That's way too cheap for this game.
Unless it's just that cheap because of my country. Oh. The basic is ten dollars. Oh, okay. So it's 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 that's that's for everyone then. That's really cheap. Wow. I mean, for what the game offers, I mean, you kind of want to give them more money. I guess, I guess you, you just have to, you just have to get into the gacha. But anyway, let's continue. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, maybe, maybe I'll buy the deluxe edition. I'm gonna have to see. I mean, but the moment I get paid, I need to like also pay uh, some things that I, I need to pay my my credit card. I need to pay some people that I, I own money and other things. So I'm going to see how much I, I'm left and I'm going to buy whichever version I can. It's in point, for example, table of simulator costs due to your RM for May. It's only cost 20 Singapore dollars, which is me. Oh. oh, yeah, like... Yeah, like, <clears throat> yeah, but, uh, because you don't get the same price for all the countries. Like every country, like changes the prices accordingly. Thank you. Ah, thank you. I, I hope I'm not getting sick again. Where's the fucking pills I have? <laughs> okay, let's continue. Thanks for the blessing. But converting it doesn't do much. You'll have to pop it up in your own Steam lab to see your local price. Yeah. I mean, for my local my, my local price, if I convert it, it's basically just eleven dollars and twenty dollars. So kind close to the standard, not close enough, but yeah. <clears throat> you force compatibility with the override program, charging like a lunatic and got yourself hoard all over. Uh, um, I um. Rosicara wrings her hands in embarrassment and then puts them together in supplication. I'm sorry. Percy, Percy and her crazy eyes. Honestly, every single one of you. How are any of you different from those pesky clients anyway? Let me get this out of the way right now. You better double check your current budget for the technical department after this. However, the expected lecture does not come. Instead, the long sword form of the override program begins glowing with golden light. <clears throat> huh? Antonina? Rescara, put your hand on the sword. Like this? Golden light flows from the override program into Persicara's body. Wait, it is. I told you, right? No matter how crazy your plans are, I'll always help you find the most effective way to realize them. The operant supply within the override program don't make experience inside the fragment and your will. That's my gift to you. Get ready for it, Persicaria. Oh, it's, it's not gonna happen. Is it gonna happen what I think is gonna happen? Which is... Is, is finally gonna happen the... Class change? The crack closes her eyes and allows Antonina's programs to enter her. That sounds... Um... CQ... CQB module. Neural connection confirmed. Combat operand module allocated adjusted. Neural projection improved. Experimental operand prefab. Device Mark II improvement complete. Weapon cluster altered. Rosicara opens her eyes again. The fatigue is gone, replaced by a keener, 
sharper expression. You mean improve my projection? Antonina, this is... We can't have you meeting the professor looking like you just woke up, can't we? That's true. Antonina, you're a big softie. She's a big... She's just a, she's just a little sister looking up for her big sister. <clears throat> it wasn't region lock in the current world economy. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I, w I wouldn't do that for this game at least. They deserve the money. I, rem I, re well, I remember that that was possible, right? Before, like um, a, a long time ago, you could just change your use a. Uh, Use a VPN and just change your the region and buy games more cheaper. Not anymore though. Her scarlet chicks flew pink and she looks at her brand new gear. She even cleaned Percy up. Thank you, Antonina. This way I won't have to worry about you going crazy out there. Now go, Persicaria. Yep. Professor, this time won't stand behind you. This time, I want to stand beside you and see what you see. Priscara takes up the long sword and holds it up high. And say, by the powers of grade school. Module Persicaria. Progress key confirmed. Commence upgrade. It is... I mean, I know that Persicara is going to get the class update to Warrior, but is that going to happen in this event? I thought it happened in the, the next one. Light Resurgent. I have the power! The power of the Oasis! and Franks will give the most to Mika team. True, but I think that, I mean, I think better would be to just go to GFL and buy some tickets with real money. I mean, be be better, be instead of changing the Steam, be better to go and do some gacha pools, I guess. Wait, before going back, I want to go back this. Select. Final task. Agenda. Right. Okay, let's continue. Enigma Sector. Vector installation was successful and Miss Priscara successful loaded the upgrade module. Now all we have to do is pinpoint the professor's position. Huh? Anna? Iman turns around and sees Antonina with a grim look on her face. Anna, did you find something? Antonina doesn't answer Newman right away. Instead, she brings up a string of code on the screen. Next to the data Prescara sent back, I finally pinpoint that constantly changing section of code, but... Is this... Is this narrow cloud data? This code belong to the Osphorus? No. Although the basic structure is similar, however, the exact specification and parameters are distinctly different from the information we have on Eosphorus. And here I thought Eosphorus consciousness was present in the fragment. He really was in there. I put him, in, I put him, I put him in through hell. Dorina finishes speaking through clenched street, then takes a deep breath before resuming her usual call. However. In fact, this fragment of the Osphorus contains another neural cloud. Grab even an abnormal neural pattern. Very unusual. Also, this data, part of it has merged with the Osphorus code. While I'm not an expert in this field, I can tell that this neural cloud data is highly unstable. Most of its functions have gone dormant. So there's a neural cloud data inside the fragment on the Osphorus. Which I'm believing it's probably Eos. Which means that somehow Eosphorus consume Eos. 
or something like that. <laughs> if nothing is done, the Ethnar Cloud might well be consumed by us for a to flag as erroneous and outright deleted. Give me a hand, Newman. I want to try something. I'm going to extract this stretch of code from the Osphorus fragment and build it into a neural cloud pattern. Wait a minute. You plan to make contact with this unknown neural cloud? It's too dangerous. Then I looked at the professor and Persicaria, or lying down in the testing bay. I always thought that it was strange. Why couldn't Persicaria and I enter the Osphorus fragment? Didn't we discuss it earlier? The professor was the only one who could pass the Sanctifier's defense program because they were human. It was a conclusion based on the information we had and ruling out options would make no sense. Even if it was correct, there were still many things it does not explain. Why did the defense program not destroy Manara Cloud and Darth Persicaria? Instead, it pushed it out of the fragment. Why is the professor who has access permission stuck in there and not responding? He took a lot of work on part of just barely helped Persicaria infiltrate it. Someone was secretly helping the professor. Well, if we want to know the answer, we have no choice but to make contact with this fragment. And if it's only a 1% chance, I want to increase the odds of Persicaria and P Professor making it out alive. Layer, in, layer, in, layer. No, please. We're getting deeper and deeper. We're all legal. I mean, the professor is always a little reckless. We, we love danger. It's not a, it's not a, it's not an event if we don't put our life on the risk for, for dumb reasons. You sure you want to take this risk? <laughs> Looks like they influence me too. <laughs> yeah, she does care. Come on, Antonina, you're, you're as crazy as us. Antonina shakes his head with self-deprecatory love. Newman, start analyzing the difference between this narrow cloud data and the Osphorus narrow cloud pattern. I'm is tight, so we'll both start together. Understood. I'll begin with the portion that in unwind with the database. Please do. In the inner ring of the Tartarus sector. Finally we'll made his own discus server. Earth server. I need to figure out how to do it. I mean, and yeah, I mean, yeah, I think it's not a bad idea to have a Discord server, I guess. But like, I, uh, I need to figure out how to make a server. It's probably easy. And there's probably some tutorials I can, I can check. So uh, yeah, it's not, a, it's, not a bad, it's not a bad idea to make a server. I just, I don't know. Maybe I need to like, I feel like I should make a server when I'm a bit, maybe I get, maybe I get some more subs, maybe. I don't know. But, but yeah, I do want to make a server eventually. Instead of a duster, we need a diving suit. <clears throat> we're going to need a fucking space suit soon enough. It's a spoiler. A grandly dressed Hyde Order Entropic sits upon a throne with eyes closed. So she was taking a nap. Oh my god. Oh, she. Holy shit. It's, oh, that's Miranda. No, Marie. No. Uh, Maria. Is that the Entrop. Is that the Lady Maria? Something like that. That. that, that also was saying suddenly an air ripple spreads in all directions from the throne oh my god look at shit look at that design oh yeah she's she's jesus two point four slaves of your wonder turn enough no we need more slaves we need 10,000 slaves. Now maybe five, maybe 5k. Doing more pointless things again? Oh gods. Oh, that's a drone then. Oh my god. Look at this place. 
kind of reminds me of the Zergs from StarCraft. But this, I mean, the Zergs didn't make this kind of architecture, but kind of reminds me of Zergs. I don't know why. The high northern tropic sitting on the throne glances scornfully towards the darkened sky. The labyrinth, the heavens, us. What do you intend to change now? Ptolemaia. Malkira, there we go. Lady Malkira, our guests have taken the divine relic. Hardly an issue. Has he accepted the invitation? Oh man, if if evil, why hot? Right? Why hot is if, if evil? For the overmind! I delivered the invitation as asked, but unfortunately, he has not seemed willing to step into the dance floor. Not giving up then, still, this outcome was an expected one. You've done very well, Tolemaya. He simply completed the duty I was assigned. In the transmissions window, Tolemaya excused a courtesy. Kinda. Lady Valkyra, my mission is... Uh, Intact! No, wait. Is it complete? Oh my god, who is she? Still, no idea what Kaina is saying. Who is she? She's new. Oh my god, she... Look at the gravity of those melons. Oh. In any case, I did the slave Malkira asked and caught them. Chased them and beat them into crap. Haha, <laughs> they were lots of fun. Give me more missions like that, Lady Malkira. Did you beat them? Did you bet? Did you beat them into scrap or into crap? That's enough, Antenora. Stop teasing, Kaina. Antenora, huh? Hmm. Lady Malkira, Kaina has completed her mission to make contact with the greater sanctifiers and kill one of them as well. The gift has been given. The effects are expected to be good. I'm sure the guests will enjoy it. Hey, jellyfish! I didn't turn out like you said. I followed your plan, but they ran off instead. I have no idea who is this jellyfish you're addressing, but I can tell you that Antenora was the one who gave you that plan. The Maya seems in Trixie's nation. So it was Spider. Oh, it's Spider! Didn't turn out like you said. You told me that they'd be fight me seriously if I attack the most badly hurt one of them. Firstly, I am not a spider. Secondly, didn't you get a big fight with that sanctifier like you wanted? The high don't drop its call and the normal laugh. There is a hint of mockery to it. But they ran off in the end. Those guys, all they know what to do is how to run. And Lady Malkira won't let me keep chasing them. Kinda. Yes, Lady Malkira? Kinda looks a little apprehensive of Malkira addresses her. You did very well. Hey! <laughs> and Denora, where are the sanctifiers now? They're headed for the sanctifier watchtower. Ha! Oh. The sanctifier's watchtower. They're looking for a safe haven to treat their friends? Or perhaps... They wish to reactivate the halo and deploy a barrier against us. Perhaps they still wish to test the advice we have given them. No matter how much time passes, the sanctifiers still have not realized that everything they do has been in vain, only repeating the same mistakes of the past. Let me go to them, Lady Malkira. I'll cut them to bits. Hey, you're already taking one ahead, Kaina. Let me go this time. Silence. Lady Malkira, we... Malkira signs heavily. Then an en enigmatic smile across her. Their targets are the three Santifier Watchtowers. We shall follow the script they expected and play out a show to please the gods. Antenora, Olemaya, Gain. Go to these purification towers and plunge these puppets of the gods into a fathomless abyss. As you command. Lady Malkira, can I kill them all this time? Go ahead and do not hold back, Kaina. Louder as you see fit. 
We have to move out too, hmm? Ah, uh, I hope those sanctifiers will be able to hold up for a while longer. The drone is silent once again. With the interpreter's call, Mokira continues staring into the distance, as though expecting something. My God, we just we just we just met the big bad, the big bad guys, I guess. Oh my God. I guess I guess that Malkira is the final boss. I guess. <laughs> She's the final boss we have to defeat. Can forward a blade. Brutal adversaries. The shitty queen of blades. She, is she, if, if she is the king of blades, then we are Rainer. Rainer. What was the name of the guy? John Rainer. We can, we can fix her, guys. It's okay. We, we, we can fix her. If evil, why hot? James Rayner, there we go. The marshal of this part. The, we're, we're the, the sheriff of this. The sheriff of this cloud. We can't fix her. No! You have to believe. We can't fi we can We can't fix her. Or at least. We can help, we can let her, we can let her do, make us worse. If we can't fix her, we can make her worse. We can liberate her into the, into the real world. Yeah, I wonder how the... I wonder if, if the Entropics were released into the real world, how would they affect it? Like, could they just... There's nothing we can do at all. Don't lose faith. For the team, no! You, you, it's not what you think. I do wonder how how will the entropics work if they had tall bodies and they could like enter the real world. Will they do that? Enter the real world? Here's the day applicator becomes real. You might be scared, but I'm I'm looking forward to it. We need We need robots, we need dolls. The day dolls become real is the day humanity dies. No, for 16, no. Cluquet, don't do this. I'm just joking, Cluquet. It's just a prank, bro.
50 dollars say they love me like a94 i'm gonna say you have a little sister but poor, poor a94 yeah you have to love her like a like a poor poor a94 like she's gonna be like i love you no i love you as a sister and she's gonna be she's gonna just she's she just gonna go cry to ak12 arms she's gonna be like that commander is a dummy uh, man i salo do you really get that many ads like holy shit that's that's weird I, it's, it's i'm gonna i was gonna say is it because you live in argentina <laughs> do they hit you with ads harder than all the other countries because use your currency that's that's weird that you get so many ads or, or are you like getting out and in every time you like get out i haven't seen any ad yet yeah right so it's only for salo then or is it or is it like because when you do something you like get out of the you close the window or just get out the app and then go back is that why you get so many ads <clears throat> light in the beacon i like ak12 eh, i like ak15 more I oh, know I prefer I prefer the, the gorilla over I oh, know I mean I got AK12 is great as well but I, I prefer the gorilla loading moment ouch oh, the one the one cartridge challenge we need we need we need more dolls doing the one cartridge challenge all the great we need to do the one cartridge challenge Tartar sector in the middle ring of the shifting lever. May the stars cleanse you, render you into light. Waves of starlight wash over the battlefield as Eos finishes speaking, sweeping away the entropic before us. Uh, could it be because of that, or maybe it's because you're Argentina? <laughs> Oh god, the RPK variant! She's back! I don't know what that is referring. Maybe not. we have been three so far and the Twitter hashtag for it has been screwed over. Ah. Uh, you can I think you can probably watch the check the the pit, pixie hashtag then. I don't know the the Twitter hashtag recently all the tw all the hashtags that I've just been trying to use they stopped working because you know I don't know fucking Elon Musk but yeah hashtag don't no longer work for me so better to go to Pixie for that waves of starlight wash over the battlefield as Elf finished speaking it's sweeping away the interrupt before us oh the RPK as I thought. My power doesn't seem to have recovered yet. Doesn't matter as long as we can complete our mission. Reteller, how much further do we reach our destination? A moment, please. This wall will shift in three minutes. Our objective lies beyond. Understood. We'll set up camp once we reach the watchtower and begin treating Electra. Just a while longer. We're almost there. After turning back to address Alcyon, she again drains her hand and gathers operands at her fingertips. Hey, also, you're right. You've been clearing the way for us ever since we entered the middle ring. Hmm? Are you worried about me, Berteller? Eh, don't worry. I've been keeping an eye on my operands' expeditor. I've been maintaining an ample reserve after taking into account everyone's condition and our upcoming mission. I also recover 20% of my operands, so if you need backup, I can step in to be your front 
Mod Rider. Anytime. Hey, you're so reliable, Ellie. Still, it isn't yet time for you to use your strength. So just leave it to me for now. In turn, I'll be leaving a lecture to you. After Eo's admonition, I'll send the notes and looks at the lecture on her back. With the lack of further medical care, the lecture is currently running on low power mode, drifting in and out of consciousness. I understand. I'll take good care of her. Oh my god, more ads? I'm sorry, Salo. There's gotta be a way for me to like lower the intensity of ads. I don't know, I don't know where to look, but it's probably somewhere here. There's a dull grinding sound as the labyrinth walls shift once again. By the time the walls stop moving, a towering structure appears before our eyes. Oh yeah, I saw that cosplayer doing the challenge. Like, Chef Kiss. We need more of that as well. By the time the walls stop moving, a towering structure appears before our eyes. The structure looks clearly out of place compared to the surrounding environment. And there are white walls vaguely visible below the purple organic growth covering. Is this another watchtower? <clears throat> Indeed, this is our objective in the middle ring. <clears throat> oh, look at that. Well... Although there are many low order entropics roaming in the interior of the watchtower, I'll dispose of them within a few minutes. Well, it's really your fault that I see a little sister. She seems so shy. No, it's not. It's not your fault. I mean, I mean, she is shy. Um, I, I guess that after the mod, after her mod three, she's a bit more uh, less shy. I guess. But yeah, she, she and I four is very shy. I mean, she give she give that energy. I guess. Shy, the shy energy, and she and she's pretty cute with cats. So, yeah, a, a lot of fan art of A N ninety four is always like her trying to like pet a cat or like have fun with a cat. So it's, it's always very cute. Ah, destiny. Yeah. He, he make he makes some great cosplays. This watchtower. <gasps> an entropic that was lying on the ground suddenly launched at me, but it's obliterated by a ray of golden light. I have minded my own business. I also laugh as she stands down. Still, you seem to be staring really hard at this place. To find something? A gentle brush away the mark of the entropy virus has left in the watchtower. Bertella? I had my suspicious earlier when I was obtained the rupert map. The interior structure of this watchtower is too plain. Huh? What do you mean? I think that Bertella means that this... Looks like a complete watchtower from the outside. The interior design is extremely simple. Not like what we usually see in our watchtowers. Not that a simple design, it's more like there were hardly any other men, though they were never planned in the first place. After all, this watchtower was not built recently. Rather, it was left behind from the war between the first generation of sanctifiers in tropics. First, the the war 
the first war. How long was it? How long was it? She was a perfectly good teeth and now she has anxiety. It's also a VTuber called Nally VTuber. Destiny is also a VTuber called Nally VTuber? Oh. Wait, that's pretty tactical. It'd be nice, I guess. Where am I? Elfros takes Electra from Alcyon's back, clears on spaces, and envelops, and envelops her in a warm opera. Don't worry. This watchtower is largely functional and can serve as a base of operation. What we need to do now is repair the device and then we can continue the treatment. After looking at the Electra calm, even breathing her gentle sleeping face, Austin breathes a quiet sign of relief. Or are all these sanctifiers artifacts only found in Tartarus? I'm talking about the map, the relic you and Eos found, as well as the place we're standing in right now. Now that you mention it, this is the first time I learned we sanctify adventures so deep into Tartarus before. Yeah, this is not the first time they sanctifiers have entered Tartarus. For the first sanctifiers, the Pantheon doesn't say much about them. The Pantheon. The first sanctifiers followed the dictates of the gods and successfully invaded the Tartarus sector. Their blades aimed at the throne of Malkira. But they still failed in the end. Yes, unfortunately, the holy texts do not record the reason for their failure. However, they pointed out two bit of clues for us. The first is the relic I hold. The second are the watchtowers in the middle of the ring of Tartarus. Those watchtowers are not just facilities from which frontline battles were waged, but also beetle weapons that the first sanctifier left us. Will it be these watchtowers can deploy elos? Like the baby ring? Oh, they're gonna... They're gonna deploy the Helos and they're gonna wipe all the life in the server so that they can destroy the Entropics. That means the Entropics are the flood. And we are Master Chief. Elfroth nods in response to Eos. Ah, oh, yeah, Frontline. <clears throat> yes, once we activate the towers, they will generate Halos that suppress the Entropy virus. Although, it will be easier to demonstrate rather than explaining to you. You're up, Berteller. Everyone else, stay alert. Be gone, RPKs. I have N94. Don't need anything else. The central control terminal. The core control terminal from the sanctified watchtower is covered by entropic corrosion. The damage is only surface level and has not reached the device interior. I extend a hand and infuse my operands into it. As the core control terminal powers back up, information about this watchtower appears in my mind. Object Tower B2. Is that the name of this watchtower? What's wrong, Bertolor? Much of the information contained within this watchtower is blank out. The key portions are intact. Deploying the hollow requires authorization for a greater sanctifier, but nothing else. Well, good thing that we're all greater sanctifiers, right? 
And without further ado, let's go ahead, Bertella. I'll go look around outside. Elle slowly flies outside the watchtower, gesturing for us to begin. Activating, activating object over B2, initiating sanctifier eliminate protocol, please enter command. Activate Halo. Ooh. 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 Oh, what's it? Oh, I forgot the name. I forgot the, the I forgot the Halo team. Uh Ooh, oh, I forgot the name. Command confirm. Request your name, Bertheller. Access granted. Up to tower B2 now deploying Halo. Deploying full data. As a mechanical voice reels up notification after notification. Thick ripples of white spread from the center of the watchtower. I need a whip. Persicara, Persica, we come back from the, the black hole and Persicara is like, Professor, can you explain to me what are you doing? Percy, finishing this fight. Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do. The mechanical voice reels off. I read it. Xbox logo appears. The ground beneath my feet lurches and the watchtower grows. My whole body is caught in the grip of this base resonance, but it doesn't cause us any harm. Beep, beep, beep. Else, what are things? The entropies caught up in the hollow are moving much more slowly than before. They're trying to escape the hollow's radius. To the communications window, we see Eos effortlessly wiping up several low order entropies. Some of them are directly melting in the hull. It seems the activation was successful, Eos for us. This is great! This might be the best news we hear ever since we ventured in the Tatros. Even the, even the otherwise melancholic Alcyon is clapping in excitement. Oh no, what? But why, what do you, why are you silent, Theosphorus? Lord Theosphorus? Or wish? Theosphorus takes deep breath and composes himself. If we confirm that the halos exist, and that they have a suppressive effect on the tropics, then it is time for us to strike back and cleanse these demons. All sanctifiers, take heed. Axion, you will hold this watchtower and ensure the safety of this hollow. I... You will also be in charge of Electro's treatment. Ah, got it. Then where will the rest of you go? We're going to finish this fight. I mean, if I'm not wrong, there is more than one watchtower here. Well spotted. But you saw was nothing more than a fraction of the hollow's power. There are three Sanctifiers watch source in Tantaro's Mildred Ring. We activate all three of them at once, a complete halo will be generated. People of suppressing or even destroying all the entropics in the galaxy, I mean in Tantaro's Mildred Ring. You might even be able to affect the inner ring and the throne of Malkira. Versus catching up with Professor. Do you have any idea what that? Bastard almost made you do. <laughs> oh no, per Percy Carrey, Cortana, holy shit. Percy is the perfect Cortana. She's loyal, she's cute, and she's an AI. Who, who, who can be Sergeant Johnson then? Uh, uh, I, I guess Python. Oh, fine. Got them. Got them, Mika, you clever bastards. You even put Halo inside of this game. Here's Dune, and now Halo. 
Yeah. Maybe we'll do a fight day in the ring. The throne of Malkira. She is the cannon wife. <laughs> I think the hashtag is partially working. Really? I mean, for me, it doesn't seem to work. Like, I try it, but it's just... It lets me to... There is no images in this hashtag. Something like that. The first sanctifiers sure were amazing. I can't believe they left such a powerful weapon for us. But if this information falls into the hands of the enemy... Yeah, we cannot let that happen. Eos has returned to us at some point. Floats serenely in mid-air, awaiting Eos for his command. Indeed. That's why I have to keep it secret all this time. Hmm. Bertello, do you have any questions? Yeah, like... Why do you have so many secrets? Huh. What exactly happened to the first sanctifiers that made them unable to conquer the Tartarus sector? Did the first sanctifiers mention anything about the strange being sap? With this one. Otherwise, it will be hard to explain why they failed to succeed even after coming this far. No. The holy texts do not mention it. Perhaps they encounter some other difficulty. Or perhaps... They have a skill issue. Since we must be wary. Even with the weapons of the first sanctifiers in hand. Your <clears throat> Sabertella will move together. We will handle the second watchtower. The man at knowledge. Then the last tower. I will take care of it myself. We'll split all forces three ways and activate the house as quickly as possible as to as to separate the demons of Tartarus. Of course, it will be reckless to head over right away. Use the watchtower resources to restore yourself and replenish your operands. Once you're fully fuck. Once you're fully prepared, head out. Understood. <laughs> What? Why are we here? Why did they join this PMC? Uh, for for the for the dolls for the pavement. That was convenient that the first sanctifier left us the tools to deal with the entropics. So why didn't they do the job themselves? That's a good question. Maybe because those... Maybe because the, the holy scriptures are wrong. And those first sanctifiers... Became the first in tropics. Or something like that, I don't know. Oh, Cortana. I mean Percy. I mean Eos. <laughs> it's not what it seems. Why the grim look? There's something you wish to say before you head out? Eos, Berteller, you will have to go to you will have to go deep into the middle ring to reach your watchtower. Please be careful. But your watchtower is further is further in the house, is it not? Or are you worried that I can't protect Berteller? <clears throat> As Elfros clears his throat. Those smiles smiles in satisfaction and wipes the expression of her face. Don't push yourself too hard, Theosphorus. You're more important than all of us. Relax. Although the spoof code failed, you should still try to avoid battle. All you need to do is activate the halo. Also, Berteller, there is something I need to discuss with you. What are, you, what are you gonna say to me, huh? I know. I, we don't need to discuss because I already know. What are you talking about? You leave me out of some discussion? How mean.
Alpha probably wants me to record the range at which the Hollows weaken and drop it somewhere it's effective and hide other entropics, right? Alpha probably wants to check the malware inside the Rupid Smack still has an effect on us inside the Halo, right? Hmm. Sounds like Halo to me. Currently, I only observe its effect on low order entropics within the Halo radius. This is definitely something that is worthy of attention. <coughs> Either way, it will need to be verified with live testing. Stay away from my sister, brother-in-law. I'm only your brother-in-law because I'm close with your sister. Brother-in-law as well. Ah, Damboru hasn't saved with the one finger self challenge. Ah, uh, one finger selfie challenge. That's some. That's a mouthful. That's a mouth mouthful. <clears throat> I'm drinking some water. <clears throat> anyway, <clears throat> oh, where am I? Yeah, if it's in Damboru, then it makes sense that it works there. Twitter, Twitter, Twitter fucking sucks with those things. Boundless Conviction. Let's go with... Challenge. Well, let's go with... This one. Oh. Oh, yeah, I can put you here. There we go. Uh, let's go with shield. tonight yeah someone at someone at me some, some one of those writers at me that just really likes books games and movies specifically like those kino movies <clears throat> Yeah, dude, how, how are you getting so many ads? I, I mean, I, are, you, are you actually like closing the window and entering back into the stream? 
Because if, if you're doing that, then like you just let it, just leave it open. I wonder if I, if I just stay quiet for a while, will that still, will you still get ads? I wonder. Still. <laughs> Yeah, get those ad blockers rolling, dude. change the tab to use the translator ah oh, i just changed the tab to use the translator oh i see i get i get i get your i get your problem right that's that's that is fucked up i guess there must there must be like a there's probably like some google Chrome, how do you say that? How do you call them? Like Chrome? Like there, there's pro, there, there must be a Chrome extension that lets you that lets you instantly translate it. Maybe. So that you don't have to like go to another tab and translate it what you want to say. Maybe I don't know. Hmm. Aside from M4, AK, NN, and cosplayer, I found MDR on 40, Pretty Whiskey, and Petria all doing the one card challenge. Damn. All in Dam Damboro, then. Nice. So that's why Dambor is best. Ah, uh, keen assist. Oh, the guy who made the one for AK-12 and a and for made a pistol base. One for the own original character. Pistol base one. Oh. I'll need to check that later.
<laughs> oh shit, I died. <laughs> Dice. No. Yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm. I need to. I need to focus. I need. I need to focus. Okay. Okay. Let's take over. Let's overclock. This a function card. Uh give me. Give me this one. And five percent. There we go. Let's kill this piece of shit. There we go. Yeah, that 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 thing was healing them, so harder to harder to destroy. Imagine all of us in Gears Frontland. I don't know if it will be good or bad. Well, depends. Are we good commanders or are we bad commanders? Because, uh, I, well, I, mean, I mean, we could be... I guess, it, I guess it, it depends what kind of commander we are. Pistol one is my my DM and DM. Oh, nice! Oh, my DM is in Discord. I'm gonna have to open Discord. Then. I'll check it. I check it later. There's a surprise on the way. I'll I'll check it after the stream. I need right now. I'm I'm using my phone to to check the chat. Right then. Sweet dreams. Minimum system stability. Libre reach. 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 Oh, let's hope the let's hope the stability doesn't fall. Like reach. Commencing restart. Identity confirmation. Sanctifier. Model Gabriel. Name Electra. Gabriel. Activation successful. Performing cell diagnostic. Oh, it's oh, it's Electra is waking up. Okay. Well, 2060, we're in GFL. We will all be Javier's age. Yeah. I mean, right now I'm close to 30. Uh, right now I'm close to 30 years old, so. I'd be, I be like 70 years old by the time. By 2060, so. You all. Or maybe um, hopefully in the next year is like some magical reju rejuvenating elixir comes out and we can like enjoy I don't know or or seventies like it's the new twenties. All of you to just soon to survive till thirty thirty. I'm I'm pretty optimistic. And it helps to live in a country that never gets into any problem. Ever. Except with itself. Like the rest of the world, we don't care. Ourselves, though, we'll fuck each other's. We'll fuck ourselves before anybody else fucks us. Prioritize activating sensory modules. Skipping self test, activating visual modules. I this is the big sis Oceana. Electra, are you awake? 
did you say just now? If you survive 20 tiers, you will have to survive World War 3. That's... That's fine. We, we, we don't have collapsed fluid in this world, so... What... What worst thing they can use? My vision and hearing gradually returns. The form of the girl before me results in the clarity. There is a look of concern on her exquisite face directed at me. Yes, I passed out during the battle just now. Have you taken care of me all this time, Ali? Good morning, Ali. I'm so sorry. I'm not expecting that. Surely this scratch doesn't want an apology from her, right? Oh, Electra doesn't know. She's been knocked out all this time. She doesn't know that Atlas is gone. How <laughs> there to be sorry about when your big sis gets a chance to slack off on the battlefield? Atlas. Atlas? An ominous feeling rises within my heart. Shortly afterwards. I see. Atlas was a hero to the very end. I'm so sorry. Ali bows vigorously. I know apologizing won't solve anything. I know I don't deserve forgiveness from you or Atlas. But I hope you'll give me a chance to redeem myself. This time, I promise I'll protect you. I'll make sure I honor Atlas' la dying wish. And I won't disgrace my status as a sanctifier. She can use her face and grit her teeth. Her entire body is so tense that it's trembling. However, the look in her eyes is more resolute than any. I understand. You are the one who needs the most comfort now, and you are taking care of my feelings instead. Honestly, all you need to do is cry and weep, and I, and Atlas too, we will have forgiven you right away. In that case, what I can do is... Ali, I start the repair program. I need to get back into fighting condition. Yeah, let me run a diagnostic. Eh, there's no need for that, right? And ignores me. Activate the diagnostic program on recovery device and begins an in-depth scan on me. When seen full diagnostic, operator ID confirmed, sanctifier. Warning, threat detected. Oh, she's infected, isn't she? Oh, she is. Threat? What is this? Is something wrong with the system? Why did it flag Ali as I threat? Electra, are you okay? The system threw you up an error. Okay. Are you on the other hand? Did you get hurt while fighting? You'll be worrying more about yourself right now. Anyway, it was just a scratch. I already healed. <laughs> it looks so out of it that I thought there was something wrong with your Nera Cloud. Why you? Thank goodness, looks like Ali wasn't infected. There's no need to worry about Hera then. Ali, begin the repair process. Our Theophilus and the others need me. Also, this isn't the time to make her worry. But... Well, there are three more reasons why I need to heal up ASAP. First, Lord Theophilus entrusted us with defending this tower and synchronizing the activation of the Halos. Second, we are in the heart of the enemy territory. And we need a... Frontliner. If we are to complete the mission. Third and most important of all, you're just so cute, I want to be with you and squish your face. Hmm. Don't try to make me laugh, this isn't time for it. Ah, uh, seeing Ali try her best to hold back tears is so 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 cute too. Hmm. Or you let her, or would you rather I, or would you rather I squish your face right now? No, 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 I'll get you healed. Just relax and recover. Also enter the codes to begin the healing on the console. Yeah. Then I guess I'll rest for a bit. The healing machine activates. A wave of fatigue wash over me. Ali. What? Atlas might be gone. But I'm sure we'll meet again. I have a hunch. The Atlas who's reborn from the Pantheon won't be the Atlas from before. Don't say anymore. Leave the rest to me. 
so reliable Alcyon. As she watches Electra close her eyes again, Alcyon stepped forward and gently stroked her face. Reliable, huh? If only I were reliable enough to support you all. I will not make the same mistake again. This time, I'll protect you all. Alcyon turned to the console and examined the rows and columns on it. Sufficient operant. I infuse some of my operands, it should allow me to activate some of the defense system, just in case. Operand fusion detected, defense system activated. Relocating operands, all power has been transferred to the Halo generation, repair system and fire control system. Is this how to do it? Austin folds her arms and looks back at the sleeping Electra. Have a good rest Electra, when you wake up, when you wake up again. We'll be able to. She's actually smiling. Honestly, what on earth is she dreaming now? Before I knew it, you went ahead of me again. Big C Solcio. I lost you in the previous big battle. When you awoke in the pantheon, you didn't remember me. Your little sister. Still, that's only to be expected. When sanctifiers are reborn, the memories don't come with them. Fortunately, we're sisters again. The difference is, this time it's my turn to be the elder sibling. And so, I can help you get all clingy around you. I'll protect you this time. Commencing deep repair, beginning narrow cloud ceiling. Warning, repair subject version does not match current version. Adjusting. Warning, abnormal program restriction detected. Verifying file integrity. Warning cancelled. Commencing bodily reconstruction. That's not good. That means that the body is going to be re rebuilt, but she's going to be infected. She is infected, isn't she? That's not good. That's no good. Enough keys left. Yeah, I need to do it. Cure me ASAP. I need not to use the warhog. No warhog for you, lady. Let's be careful and actually get some extra help. Rashida. <laughs> Wipe off. Ali dolls no longer gain pre charge time at the start of the battle. Units on overdrive tiles are not affected. Oh. Mm, there is this one. For the and I for us, as a little sister. <laughs> no, you need, dude. You need to run. You can't escape AK-12. You, you need, you need to get, you need to get RPK to save you. But then, that will be worse than death. You need to get AK-15 to help to save you. She's the only one that can fight AK-12. <laughs>
A curiosity, I saw the new Banksy skin. Alpha from PGR. Oh, I, ha I haven't saw it. I haven't seen it, but racing suit. She has, be she has become a racist. I mean, a racer. <laughs> Alpha from PG. I need to, uh, have to check that later. Something minus is last. Twenty minutes in the last ad, huh? Don't don't mention it or another app is gonna uh, is gonna appear. Oh shit! I'm dying. Right. Go here. Here. Let's just overclock just in case. Oh, I'm getting destroyed. Oh shit. Okay, that killer. I need to destroy that killer. Let's check this. Damn it. You switch you switch to your phone and you got a, a nat on your phone as well? Damn. Yeah, because because now my channel is monetized, I guess, every time you enter the stream, you do get a nat, I guess. I hope they don't are I hope they aren't too intrusive. Sorry. Shit, no, she died. Okay, maybe I need two healers. Okay, I may I may have I may have trolled this this one I may have that like I may have to like deactivate the challenge mode. Jin with Percy makes Hatsu crit rate gold. Oh really? I haven't tried that. Maybe hmm, interesting. Interesting combo.
Oh, don't die, don't die. No, why did you heal her? Fuck. Crap, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna make it. Let's retreat. Good again, but without challenge mode. Just in case. <laughs> yeah, that should be enough. I mean, I mean, I'm I'm at the point where the challenge mode is became became too challenging. Oh shit. マグラシア、アタック。どう。パフォーマンスにはご満足いただけた。Ooh, nice. My wife, my, 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 my Oshi just announced a 3D concert for her birthday. Nice. It's gonna be on April, April 4, so. Nice. I'm awake. Sorry, I, I, I was just quickly checking Twitter and I saw that. My mom, my oh, she's gonna have a concert on her birthday, so a 3D concert, so it's gonna be a blast. Also, my sister came in the room, so I, I had to like mute myself. <laughs>
But it's fine, I can just put this put this baby on auto mode and Okay, but AI is too much AI is too much auto now. It's fine, the, the AI is intelligent enough. He can play the game for me. I don't need to worry about it. Tr I trust the AI. I don't trust it with art, but I trust it with my games. No, I, I don't actually. Not even my games. <laughs> Let's finish this. Huh. Let's do this. Stop right there, internal force. Don't finish that thought. If you finish that idea, you're gonna bring into this world something that we're not prepared to do. We're not prepared to contain her. Don't do it. We cannot. We cannot make it real. Yet. Right. How much? Okay, four more. I uh, I finish these four more and then I'll end stream because I'm getting hungry. <laughs> Edge of. There's only like maybe two more to read, so. Edge of catastrophe. The memory splinter, pouring forth an endless stream of mystery that flows towards the corrupt in the admin center of Enigma Sector. With Newman assistance, Antonina. Stop! Stop, internal force, don't do it! She, she's like the Rocco's Basilisk. The moment you think about her, the moment she's here. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I need to some water. I don't have any water. Damn it. With Newman assistance, Antonina is trying to contact the other neural cloud hidden in the Earthfrost fragment in the hopes of pinpointing the professor location. The neural net is now compacting the separate image data while the neural cloud pattern is under construction. What are things on your end, Anna? Identify the boundary between the Earthforce and the regular neural cloud patterns. It's strange. What's wrong? Is there a problem? Although we just discovered the two of them have a very similar base framework, I found more and more similarities between the fundamental data of both neural clouds. Libra and Luke. It's as though they came from the same template, but ended up developing in different ways to the experience they went through. It's like finding apples and pears on the same tree. <laughs> <coughs> hmm. So it's a pure apple. Hmm. Or rather, they're like human twins. Oh, <gasps> that's troublesome. Their code was already closely interlocked to begin with, instilling their similar characteristics. Trying to quantify the difference between them is like separating a pool of water from the water. Let's install a backdoor program for analysis purposes. We need more data to this isolate their difference. Oh. Huh. <laughs> Once she didn't finish, the backdoor program that Antonin installed in the Osphorus fragment begins sounding one high threat alarm after another and interrupts their conversation. Warning! Child program 311 is written alert. Target program segment and normality detected. Stability has fallen by 25%. Collapse and damage is possible. Warning! Child program 1477 is written alert. Stability fallen to 16%. Damage is possible. Warning, child program. What's going on? Why the stability of the Osphorus fragments so drop by so much? Quick, Newman, terminate all the backdoors beside the one we're using to support Versicaria. We can let the Osphorus fragment collapse. It does. And Versicaria and the professor. On it. <clears throat> there are flurries of TV by Antonina and Newman. They finally managed to stabilize the fragment. But did the fragment destabilize? Watchtower activation, Milo initiation, conceptual weakening of sanctifiers. What's going on here? What happened? Are things in the fragment alright? 
Now, one piece of bad news and two pieces of good news. Which one do you want to hear first? That does sound so familiar. And why are they two pieces of good news? I'll start with the good news then. The first piece of good news is that the Osphorus fragment stabilized. The second piece of good news is that we no longer have to expend effort on pinpointing the narrow cloud that's enmeshed with the Osphorus. And what about the bad news? Said narrow cloud is disintegrating because it's been running in background all this time and expending operands. It was simply covered by other data before. Thanks to this upset, I figured out its operational log. It started working after I, Persicaria, and the professor entered the Osphorus fragment. <laughs> okay, so that other neural cloud inside of the Osphorus fragment is EOS, which somehow is inside was inside Eosphorus. And EOS is basically protecting Persicaria and the professor from being deleted. In other words, your guess was right. The initial circumstances of the professor and the reason why you and Persicara are unaffected by the dense system are definitely related to that narrow cloud. Then have you found any clues related to the professor? I have, and they were del del deliberately let left by that narrow cloud. Deliberately left behind? Oh, are they reliable? I think they are, and in truth, they send them on to Persicaria. Nero Cloud called itself EOS. <laughs> EOS? Aren't you being too reckless? What if this EOS turns out to be Osphorus in disguise? Then she wouldn't have need then she wouldn't have need to let Persicara and myself leave safely. Of course, that's just one reason why I trust her. The most important reason is this. Donina Turks screamed to Newmark. OPRF1, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. A smiley face. What's this? OPRF. The Ocean Policy Research Foundation. And what are those numbers? Some kind of code? It's an acronym for Oasis Professor. And that's the password for the Professor Admin account. Every time they dump extra work on me, I had to use the account and the password to open a new ticket. So I remember it very clearly. That emoji at the end was me telling them that the password was too simple and that they should go change it up. Used to be just <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. Professor, come on. That's <laughs> that are nuclear passwords. The network club wants to be called RP EOS. Professor, that's not that's not a password to have for admin. I'll admit, I used to have passwords like those as well. So the most privileged super user in the Oasis, the account with the administrator access to all core systems in the sector as the password. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. When we're back, Newman, you can hit us in the head. I'll make them change it to a proper alg uh, alphanumeric password with different six cases afterwards. In any case, this reference basically indicates that we can be sure she's working with the professor. Let's contact Persicaria. I think I know where the professor is now. Antonina motors to herself as she hits the enter key. And on the screen, line after line of code forming the realistic animation. But something is happening in front of Antonina's eyes. The Tartarus Sector. Is this where the answer lies? In the inner ring of the Tartarus Sector. <laughs> Malkira reclined against her throne, plump and wrong and dropping her arms. She gently pats. The pet entropic narrows its eyes as it enjoys its own attention. And it goes from relaxed and lethargic to screaming around and trying to escape its owner embrace. Oh no! Chup 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 chup! Hmm? Ah. So Halo started up. Alright, be good, little one. There's nothing to fear. You're merely, you're merely the audience. The goods left many interesting recording behinds. One of them is that the audience is far more bearable than the actors. 
Choo -choo. The events on stage are just a bit more noisy than most. If that scares you off, you won't be able to take a picture with the performance when it's time for the curtain call. Her long fingernails graze over the dimly entropic trembling body, and Malkira pinches its soft side before putting it down. The latter scampers away the moment it's free and runs into the shadows. Run away! Akira stretches and leans against her seat before drumming her fingers into its armrest. Run enough? Just like that? Even Kaina is cuter than you. But the first watchtower has been activated then. We move fast, Eosphorus. Truly the actor who is most beloved by the gods. Your qualities are impeccable. Can you reach me then? How much longer will it take? Faster. Move faster. Malkira mutters to herself as her body sways from side to side. Like a girl like a girl wanting to like a girl white like a girl waiting for her lover to return home. The girl is the fire who has been granted, calling from the heaven, shall fight his way through the thorny ways, carve a path through Tartarus, on which all wickedness springs. Level his plate at the demon's queen upon her throne. Your Highness, that life action is terrible. Ah, the other hollow. Okay. Let's let's not think about that live action for now. A cliche store with boilerplate plot. And a relic left for you by the god spears the demon's queen's chest and cleave the shackles which bind her? Oh no, that means she's she's planning on that. She's planning She's planning on the Osphoros striking her with the holy relic so that she can be free. That's not good. Malkir Swain dies down. With one looks carefully, every single movement of hers is accompanied by imperceptible yet wide ranging data ripples. The ripples grow into storms of data that escape the throne and roam in all directions. Yet the moment they reach the edge of the chamber, they collide with an invisible wall and vanish. Euphoros, work harder. Put on a more moving performance and show me your effort. The answer is not in the reverse tower, nor outside. Here. Before the throne. In me. Oh no. She wants to be penetrated by Osphorus. Hmm. Cliche, bad. We really not talk about live action. The only Halo live action is Forward Unto Dawn. And Nightfall. And the trailers. Malkira's motoring gradually drift off and her swaying body suddenly frees in place. And then a mighty data wave erupts from her body. And then, just as expected, the wave hits the edge of the throne room and vanishes without a trace. Does not travel a single inch beyond it. Don't disappoint me, Osphorus. She wants, she wants, she wants the Osphorus to penetrate her with her holy sword. <laughs> that is no good, like... That means right now she's been bind... But she's like trapped, so she's being liberated, and that's not good. No, this one, this one, this one. You're getting ads every 20 minutes? Wait, wait, fuck. What did he say? Shit, no. Ah, oh, fuck. Let's, let's restart. So you're getting at exactly every 20 minutes. That is... Ooh, I mean... Oh, that's... I need to figure... I need to check out... I need to check that out. When did the story get so spicy? Okay, this one. You finally got a clue to the professor's location. Thank goodness. A look of relief crosses Prescara's face even as she races to the black hole. The truth is, I know that she's more concerned for the professor's safety than her own. 
part of the information is still under repair due to death and fluctuation. If we have a clue, we have hope. I believe in the professor and you, Antonina. I believe in the professor that believed in you, Antonina. I'm sure that Persicaria of the past will be a panic mess right around now. Since she said she believed in me, the chief supervisor of the Oasis, technical department, I need to live up to her fate. Let's meet her expectations. Ads are always, ads always score the key parts. Man, those, 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 damn, those goddamn ads, man. <clears throat> Can I send a super chat to myself? No, that can that can be possible. There's no way he's gonna let me send a super chat to myself. Right? Initiate a session of answering questions. Uh, or make a make a. Oh, I have a have a, a bunch of new options. I'm really curious if, I'm really curious if I can like send a super chat to myself. Although that'd be ridiculous because uh, I want I kinda wanna try it. Bring breath. Oh no, that's not good. Fuck. My my tablet just died, and I was using it to like read chat. Damn it! I need to charge it up. What the fuck is the charger? What? Where is the charger? It's always here. Ah, there we go. Ah, fuck.
at least. Okay, I was, sorry, I was, I was looking for the I was looking for the cable to connect my, my tablet to charge and my cat began like playing around with oh give me that cable give me that cable like and just just in where he was doing that there was my my glass of water and he was about to like he almost kick it into my PC so <laughs> Why do cats like cables so much? Why why what evolutionary What part of the revolution just make them love cables so much? <laughs> Any reference for the tablet today? We have a chance to talk about serious geopolitical aspects of sporting chicken. What? Why would you export? Why, why, why would you? Why would you export chicken? Just raise it up in your own country and eat it. Not that hard. Unless like, unless it's like the Argentinian meat, where everybody wants Argentinian meat, and so you they export the, their meat everywhere. As I search along the time axis, the data gets more and more chaotic. The further I dig into the Los Frosal Marquilas Pass, see the sanctifier defense system acting up, or was the data really this badly damaged? Did someone deliberately destroy this data? Or long cherished wish, or war? The war between the sanctifiers and the entropics has never stopped. Alkira and Neosforo seem to coexist in this memory fragment. The naming format. Chaotic. Commencing search and the dark signature. Sanctuary is owned by the professor. Search complete. Individuals matching the sanctuary. One. When you at last, professor. Repeating haste. Wait, that's. Where's the luge? Okay, that's a. F oh, what's this? Memories of the Divine. Okay. Okay, two more. Two more, and we can. We can go on in. Tartarus Sector in the middle ring. <laughs> Lady Malkira granted my request and she even told me not to hold back. He he he. It's been several minutes since transmission ended. Say something, Atenora. I'm worried that if we leave her unattended, this stork will mess around until the sanctifiers occupy all the watchtowers. Oh my god. She's long, oh my god. We have to kill them all before they activate the Halos, right? Relax, Ptolemaia. While preparing this scene is more to my preference, a thrilling hunt is good too. Right? Even cute little Kaya thinks so too. Oh, it's Spider. Why are you getting cute? At least wait until I'm actually gone before attacking behind my back. Don't think things too far. I don't know why she reminds me of Bay, Akos Bale. She'll tease your enemies, not your allies, Antenora. If you can entropize all those sanctifiers, you will have far more toys to play with. My two would like more dance partners. Not for our perspective circumstances. Perhaps I might even end up being compatible with Bertheller. Ooh. Well, she wants to dance, huh? You're leaving the VIP seat for me, right? Otherwise, I'll get jelly. Now, what do you guys mean by toys and seed? Enough with the riddles. I'm going to show Malkira how badass I am with my fight. Except, except we, except that we sport so much. We, 
except that we export so much meat that they only leave us the bones and fat. Fucking government control. Uh, oh, I, oh, I mean, at least here to, to buy Argentine meat is not cheap. But I wonder how cheap it is compared to you, you guys over there. I mean, that, that'd be kind of fucked up. Like the fact that you export so much meat and you and it's so much. I need and and I need and it's expensive for you guys as well. Like it should be cheaper for you guys. You're the guy. You're the guys making it. My white sense is alerting. Talk about being unable to read the mood. Oh well. Let's discuss our better plan. Mission is to stop the sanctifiers from activating the halo system in the three watchtowers. The sanctifiers will have to split up three ways to, to keep the halos running. That being the case, the best solution for us is to pick one of the unoccupied towers and lie in wait for them to arrive. Hey, I want a good clean fight. I don't have time for ambushes or whatever. This isn't an ambush. Merely picking a suitable plan to suit our strategic objective. The most suitable plan is beating the crap out of them in a head-on fight. That one from now just was nearly enough. Fun. Antenora and Ptolemaia exchange looks to the screen. The former shrugs and giggles. The latter signs in resignation. Besides, Lady Malkira just wants the script to play out. It doesn't really matter how things go. So why not just let Kaina handle it? Plus, they've been punished too, right? Some paid for their lives, others accepted the gift. If you divide the remaining sanctifiers three away, even Kaina should be able to handle them, right? One accepted the gift, which I mean, that she probably means Electra. She's been... Enterprise. Jellyfish Giro signs heavily. Kaina, what do you want to do? Set to the watchtower that they took. Actually, we can ignore that one. As long as we... As long as we get to fight! Alright then. Hey, thanks, Dolemaya. I was waiting for that. Kaina has left the group chat. Oh, so she can call people by their name after all. And then oh, let's pick a watchtower. Solitary hunting is more fun. Sorry about that, Miss Jellyfish. And the Nora has left the group chat. <laughs> I don't know that, why that sounds funny. They have a group chat of evil. Be careful, Kaina. Stay safe. And the Nora, don't call me that. Well, I might speak these words into the void and turns off the equipment and heads towards the remaining watchtower. After a sector in the middle ring. Kaina turns the corner and rushes straight towards the sanctified Okup Watchtower. 20 minutes, 20 minutes. Really fish is great, but she just worries too much. She's still blowing up my DMs even after leaving the group chat and nagging me about waiting for the interpret mob to, be to bump up before entering the Watchtower. Blowing up my DM. So they have chats between them. That's kind of... Weird. Yeah, that is the problem. For some mysterious reason, in Argentina, the internal price of meat is more expensive than in other countries. And it's the same meat we export. Hmm. Yeah, that is fucked up. Like, there is some corruption going there, it sounds like. Or maybe some privatization that just doesn't want to, like, make less money, maybe. It's just a capitalist game. I guess it's it kind of like similar to us here. Like we have a similar thing here in Peru where we like the gas, you know. Uh, the gas is as is very the gas is as expensive as in the city as where you take as where they they process it, you know. So like the 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 town the little towns that close to the mines where they take the gas they have to pay they have to pay the same price even though they are just like one kilometer away that the same price that we pay here in the city that we are like a whole country away so it's like it's fucked up that they have to pay the same price 
Grow up in Argentine? Nah. Twenty minutes. If I had the mood to fight after that, I'd probably be asleep by them. Just don't get it. What's she so worried about? Clink 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 clank clank clank. The watchtower reactivates defenses, smite an intruder again for the first time in a long while. Their projective aura stopped by a single longsword. The tightly clustered sound of metallic impact are far more thrilling than what one might expect. The shockwave from the clash leveled the entropic architecture around Kena. Meanwhile, Kena charges through the storm and into the watchtower. Oh yeah, that's more like it. Man, that was fun. I haven't had a warm like that in a while. Burn it up now. Where's the enemy? Where are the sanctifiers? And the one of you is still standing guard, so show yourself. Hmm. I wonder who's going to turn up. One with the bow? One with the tablet? Or... A long sword clips right through the war. An automated defense gun and optical print sport fall apart in response. Would it be Eos and Eos for us? The ones they say are the strongest sanctifier? <laughs> Any of them will do, I can't wait. There's the son of an arrow ripping through the air, and a petite figure stands in front of Kain. The same problem in electricity. Damn. We 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 us we we us Latin countries can can get a break. Wait a second, Kain, are you? And goad it with the sauce. It's the sound of an arrow ripping to the air. Be gone, thought. Oh. So you're the one who stayed behind to protect this watchtower. Eh, I guess that works. Better than fighting that Bretteller. That one doesn't look like they can fight at all. Oh, just you wait, Kaina. Just you wait. Judgment arrow. Oi, why the long face? Say something. Don't you wanna don't you guys want to talk when you fight? I never like you range attackers who shoot people while hiding the way. A real fight is hand to hand and fist to fist. <coughs> that con is, is no longer cute and funny. He's cute and angry. Kangry. No, Kongri. Kaina somewhat staggered special falls, leaving her movement slow down a little. Like, why are these people like you? There must be something wrong with your head if you don't enjoy fighting. Oh, I remember now. Jellyfish is just like you. She just can't get into battle. Now, how did I solve that? And I think... I think Spider taught me a few ways to town people. She do, she said it will help hip up the mood. Yeah, that's what she said. Kaina way of speaking grows more and more twisted. To the point where she, the very air seems to curl up along her lips. Now, how should I taunt you? Shempre? Should I call you cowardly? Or a wimp? Or a piece of worthless trash? No, you don't care if people look down on you like that. And what do you care about? What would make you explode with rage? Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. What you care about? Oh my god. Kinda laughs shyly. Oh man, that's... I should not stick my, my dick in there, but... At last! Is that it? <laughs> Did I get it right? Was that how you scream his name? But you know, it was a total mess when he died. I cut him to pieces. He was still trying to take a stance even though his face was twisted in agony. Man. It's awesome. Kena! Alcyon's chest heft visibly as the clock speed spikes. Same spite. At the same time, 
she lets loose even more arrows that streak through Oskena. You can't hold it in anymore. You're mad. I heard it. I heard all of it. Your hardware is overdrive. Your drive companies are humming. Your engine is roaring. That's the way it should be. That's how fighting she'll be. And it speeds up. The longsword stirs up God's wind in his wake. <laughs> Let's enjoy this fight. Oh no, that's not good. Okay, that's a, a, a boss note, so we're gonna fight the boss, I guess. It's gonna be a hard fight. Probably. Oh my god, that's a lot. Oh my god, that's a lot of functions. I like that this one. <clears throat> oh no, I should have chosen the other one. Damn it. Let's get this one. No. Normally area. Oh, nice. Okay, I need all violence search. There we go. Where is that? 20 minutes past. Oh, you want an ad? Here's an ad. I don't know if that gives you an ad. There's a. Oh, fuck. There is a button here that says insert ad. But I don't know if that actually inserts an ad because I have the stream open in a different phone. But it doesn't like... It doesn't like insert an ad in the middle of a stream. So I don't know what what the, what that button does. Which way do we? Eka Cairo. Uh huh. Go down. Come on, this is the last stretch. I need those. I need that spaghetti. There's there's a there's a plate of spaghetti with my name waiting for me. Need to eat it. Uh, let's sell. Sell this one. Stop moving. Shit. Uh, 
<laughs> damn it. Oh, damn it. It's got this one. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, this card. Ooh, like. Mm. Where is shouting, huh? Hmm. Let's get rid of all these. Racing bullet. Plus by spillover. I don't need this one. Okay, let's get rid of two more. Uh, now let's get rid of this one. And increase the deck side. There we go. Surprise soon, don't, don't don't tell me that. About to happen. All those HP. Oh my god. Those thunder tides. Let's overclock this shit. Let's get no, some bit for some bit for warriors. Yes, this one. Oh my god, what the fuck? She's strong. Ah, but not strong enough. Almost 20 minutes through the ad jump in the middle of the story. A fate. A fate that it because of wind shatters the barrier's defensive device lining the pipe's weight and crushes the never-ending scream of arrows as soon is firing. The brutal demon pressed closer, step by step, and all the guild can do is retreat. Muda muda muda! Is that all the strength your anger can give you? When you going to secure the watchtower? When you going to avenge Atlas? This is nowhere near enough for that. <gasps> Kaina catches up with Alcyon. A superhero's long sword sends the girl flying aside with a groan. Alcyon crashes heavily into the wall. Blue cool and drips on down its surface. As the dust clears, Girl stumbles back to her feet. Kaina, you deserve death. Combo Ray, what? Hey, Naresh, Combo Ray from, from, from Twitch. Nice. Champion Thunder. Oh, Champion Thunderax. Hello, hello. Hello, 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 Captain. Yeah, um, Naresh, Naresh mentioned you a, a while ago. The platoon tarry decided at 3 o'clock, distance 3,000 times to fire one minute. What? How does a raid work in Twitch? I, 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 I honestly have never seen a raid in Twitch. I've seen raids in YouTube and they're kind of like normal. But how does it work in Twitch? Oh my god. I mean, I'm just seeing like chat the chat go become yellow Nash appears with the reinforcement just 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 what we need it this this kind of girl is kicking our ass okay, where's it where's the fucking mouse where's my mouse you weak you damn weak come on and burn burn with anger burn with wrath burn with the will to fight it's as simple as raid username. Oh. If you're done, you're dead. 
I mean, I, I have to open Twitch, but basically, uh, what I'm seeing from the rage is like the chat became colorful. That's nice. That's cool. Thank, thanks, thanks, Captain Drax. I'll check. I'll check your channel later. Oops. Where am I? Mouse, where are you? Okay, there we go. Then a smile turns savage, and she advances again. Her weapon held high. Opposite here. Oh, oh, also, welcome to the four viewers watching from the raid. I hope you enjoyed. I'm right now finishing chapter one of the Narrow Cloud event in Tropic Dichotomy. We're basically we're watching. We are going back in time, checking the memories of the bit bad bit of the boss of the Santifiers, trying to figure out why he became evil and how to defeat him. And we're basically figuring out that. That I don't know. I don't know what we figure out actually. <laughs> One of them is a bot for sure. That's fine. That, that, that's fine. We, we are playing a game full of AI and bots, so it's it's on par for the for the experience, I guess. But yeah, we don't know. I don't know what we find out actually. It's like we 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 are we are finding out that that the enemy somehow infected the supposed police of the of this virtual reality but no there's something there's something weird happening yeah reference yeah oh Nairish mentioned me as a as a tar as a raid target oh man oh th thanks Nairish and thank you captain That's nice. My first raid, my, uh, actually, my, my the first raid I ever seen. Thank you. Very cool. <clears throat> but yeah, we're basically playing a, a, a game about where we're trapped inside of a virtual reality cloud server, and we're trying to escape with all the people inside. And there is this virus that is trying to infect everything, and we're trying to figure out how to stop it. And yeah, but that's basically the story of Nero Cloud. It's not, a, it's, it's, it's not a bad game. It's pretty fun. It's, it's a gacha game, yes, but you don't need to gacha to play. You can just play with the normal units. Capitano is going to outdo you and play reverse collapse. No! Damn it! God damn it! No, enjoy, enjoy reverse collapse, dude. I mean, it looks it looks extremely fun. <laughs> I cannot play yet. I need to like wait to, till the end of the month. God damn. No, but that's good. The more people play, the, the, the more people play reverse collapse, the better. We need, we need more people playing it. The game sounds interesting and I don't say that. You don't say that lightly? No, I mean, the, the, I mean... I mean, I am biased because I'm fan of the the developers and the the world, but it is a fun game. Like I played the demo a couple of months ago. I played the demo and it was like the first two chapters, and it was pretty fun. Like it was, it was like uh, I don't tend to play like th those kind of RPGs, but it was really fun. Just like strategizing and trying to figure out how to the enemy moves and think think thinking forward about how the how to like use all the durations and the equipment that you have and the skills and like i don't know it was pretty fun just just, just for playing those first two levels i want to like play the full game so yeah reverse collapse baker girl available now on steam on sale till the 4th of april buy them mika please uh, yeah. uh, give me, give me, give me some uh, advertise. <laughs> anyway, let's continue the story. <clears throat> Opposite here is Alcyon, who saw a tremble breath before quickly stepping back and drawing her bow. Judge me narrow. Did 
didn't say that. Sorry, I mistyped. I was talking about the game reverse collab. Ah, oh. nah, don't worry. That's fine. I, I mistyped. It's okay. Right now, the ads is in the stream. Sorry, Salo. You can't escape ads. No, not when it's about reverse collabs, Baker Girl. Available now on Steam, on sale till the 4th of April. Buy it now. This is your last gasp? What a shame. This is it, Sanctifier. Time to die. Punk. An arrow sinks into Kaina's chest. The high northern entropy cannot block it. King arcs of operance have raised past her side at some point. And the sword that should have been raised high falls to the ground with the arms. But they fit, okay. Oh, you might play it, okay. Well, uh, uh, well, if you if you do play it, like I hope I hope you enjoy it. It's it's from what I from what I played from the demo, it was pretty fun. So I hope you enjoy it. It's some it's an RPG. So if you like those. It's a turn-based, turn-based RPG. Yeah. I seen people compare it to like, uh, how's how how's how how's this franchise called? Like Fate? No, Fate. Not not Fate. Not Fate. Um. How's this uh, three houses? How's this franchise called? I forgot. How is, oh my god, I forgot the name. Three houses. Fire Emblem, there we go. I seen people compare it to Fire Emblem. So yeah, it's basically like that. Advanced Wars as well, yeah. RPG with love and hope. Yeah, that's the most important thing. Love and hope. They just make love and ho love and hope feel games. <clears throat> she's stopping her tracks for a moment before looking down. Then, she slowly shuffles left and right, as though to confirm the baffling reality that confronts her. What's going? Ugh. Another arrow strikes home. Did another arrow. While Stone is advancing, and Kaina is retreating. Yeah, too much love and hope. The wretched height of the entropic falls to her butt, and three figures appear along the edges of her vision. The female sanctifier hands are still wetted with smoldering operands. Kaina's severed arms were her doing. She's the only one. I didn't see any high order in tropics. Being able to eliminate one is good enough. The worst case scenario will be if they all decide to stake out one of the tower to ambush was. Oh, so they didn't... So... Interesting, so... Eosphorus and Osbert Teller, we didn't... We didn't go and left the tower. We stay around to ambush her. That's pretty clever. Thank you for your hard work, Alcione. You did well. Not well enough. Eosphorus? Eos? Berteller? Why? Why are you all here? What the hell is this? Jellyfish said you split up. You need to split up to take all the three watchtowers. If you didn't leave, then why didn't you come out from the beginning? Why didn't you face me fair and square? Why didn't you lock me in the f eye and fight me? Because we weren't sure that you'd be the only one attacking this watchtower. In contrast to Kaina's hysterics, 
Alcyon calmly wipes away the cool and speaking in the corner of her mouth and walks towards her. Her gait is unsteady, her head is lowered, and instead of looking her in the eye, her face is blank. The lightning seems to have changed because it builds their face in shadow. Eosphorus told us that this was your home ground. After we took one tower, and naturally nowhere else the scientifiers would be headed. In that case, why not play to your expectation and pretend to split up? That way, we could all defend this place and use your misconception to take out at least one of you. Alternately, if there was a high order entropy to fall into the trap, it would probably be you, the one who lies to charge in headlong into things. Alternately, just as we predicted, if any high order entropy fell for it, then it was meant to be you. Do you think I will lose to those legs? I mean, I don't abandon my companion. Ah, ah, ambushes. Always with ambushes. How can you do this? How can you keep doing this? Whatever is you, sanctifiers or jellyfish, your heads are all filled with twisty, twisty crap. I mean, sorry. Twisty, twirly crap. Kaina's voice is still trembling as it trails off, but her body has already relaxed from its tense state. You get shadow banned? No, I can read you. I can read you, okay. At least in YouTube. Or did you get shadow banned in Twitch? Alcyon forcefully stabbed the arrow she's holding to her chest. Her rat spent. The high order entropic crashes heavily to the ground, throwing out a cloud of dust. Alcione, can you still function? Are you alright? Perhaps you should let me. In my last few messages sent, the one about too much love converting to mind break? Unfortunately, I have to bounce, but have a good rest. Thank you, thank you, Captain, and thank you for the raid. I hope you have a good night. How? Uh, <clears throat> I'm also gonna be finishing up in a while, so. But thank you for the raid, and thank you for sticking around. Have a good night. Yeah, those. No, yeah, they, they appear. So, sorry, I didn't read them. Too much. Um, I, I I just I just read too much love because you and Silo send it at the same time. I was like, I just read one. I'm fine, Eos. It's just a scratch. The repair sectors inside the watchtower are still usable. Don't waste time on healing me. I should head out. Although there's no avoiding battle at the other two watchtowers, the longer you delay. More entropics are come prepared to face you. You know, please don't push yourself. There's really nothing we can do. I some faith in her, Deos. She's your comrade and a powerful greater sanctifier. I'll see on and entrusted this watchtower and Electra to you. According to reports from the frontline units, there shouldn't be any more high order entropics in Tartarus. You only have to face ordinary entropics of everything. Understood. I will hold the watchtower and ensure the Halo system operates normally. You don't have to worry. Except for Electra that is infected. The message came out in the chat about Bird, but not here. Chat YouTube. Wait, what? Mind breaking bird with too many messages at once. What? What are you talking about? Oh, well. Welcome, Moku. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> so in YouTube, I can see the 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 emoticon, but in in the app I'm using to see the chat, it, it's just like face orange biting nails. 
That's kind of funny. Face orange biting nails. <laughs> yeah, well, welcome to the stream. Right now we are we are leaving Alcyon behind to defend the Watchtower while we, Eos and Eosphors are going to, to capture the other Watchtowers to activate the Halo so that we can destroy it, the Entropics. But what people don't know is that there is an imposter among us. As the group exchanges information and verifies the situation while giving each other reminders, Kaina twitches imperceptibly while she's lying on the ground. Among us? Yeah, there is, there is one among us between us. As the group exchanges information and verifies the situation while giving each other reminders, Kaina twitches imperceptibly while she's lying on the ground. What a good story that was. Oh, welcome, Iris. Welcome to the stream. I guess you guys already read the story. I'm just I'm just finishing up the story because the event is about the the event is about to end, so I need to like finish it up. The style systems begin functioning again, and a faint traces of operands start to gather. I'm so pissed! I'm so pissed! I'm so pissed! Oh, that's weird. It just... Huh. A notification just appeared saying that the ads are beginning. What? Did, did an ad just got inserted into, into the stream? Wait, I'm, wait, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna... I'm not gonna do anything right now because... I just... I just a pop-up just appeared saying that an ad will be inserted into a stream. But I didn't, I didn't, I didn't click anything. Did you get, did, did you get, did you get an, another ad, Salo? Sorry. Wait, but that doesn't make sense. Why did the ad, why did an ad just got inserted at this point in the stream? Oh no, why did it, what did, why did it just now tell me that uh, an ad just got inserted? That doesn't make sense. YouTube doesn't make sense. Monetization doesn't make sense. Why, why, why is so, why does it, why is it so weird to, to make, why, why is it so weird? Somebody tell me if the ad already finished so that I can continue reading the story. No, zero ads. But why didn't it be in now? I don't know. That's weird. Like, you, you've been getting ads for the whole stream, and only now a, a notification, like, appear. You do it for God, son. We are the sanctifiers. If you do it for God, we are sanctifiers, then what are the entropics? The bots? Yeah, you, you deserve an achievement for seeing so many ads. No, Google is in tropics. Because Google is trying to infect every facet of what we do with trying to sell our information. With an Xbox included. I'm so pissed, I'm so pissed, I'm so pissed! The sound of Kaina grinding her teeth echoes through the narrow cloud. Meanwhile, the operant levels within Kaina's body begin climbing, their emotions build. They're all like this, each and every one of them. Those cheap sanctifiers, what right do they have to look down on me and ignore me? They don't even dare to fight me fair and square. And if I have to die here, I'll make sure I drag you down to hell with me. Having gathered her strength, Aina suddenly bursts into emotion and springs up, her twisted face headed straight for the back of Alcyon's neck. As it happens, Alcyon is turning to face her, and their eyes meet Kaina through the blindfold 
over the latter's eyes. <gasps> Eos reflexively reaches out to them, but Eosphorus stops her. Facing with Kaina's sudden lunge, Alcena does not panic, does not freeze up, certainly does not collapse. Her face is still blank, only the slight twitching of her cheeks reveals that she is clenching her teeth under her lips. The only other response the girl makes is to forcefully throw a punch in a way that Kaina seems to recall seeing not too long ago. A rapid series of whistling noises fills the air as the devices hidden above the group bear their fangs. Over a dozen arrows shaft turn the resurgent Kaina into a porcupine and extinguish the ragging operas within her. Then she, 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 she got turned into a kebab. Alcyon, are you? I figured she might have a surprise in store for us. So we activated the appropriate defense beforehand. I can't lose anyone else because of my miscalculations. Oh. She has learned. Thank you for your faith in me, Lord Theosphorus. Theosphorus not to Alcyon in approval. Eos, Berteller, let's go. We ought to get moving. Eos is looking worriedly at her as I took on her. We leave the watchtower with the Osphorus. Behind her, the petite girl. No, the greater sanctifier is still glaring at Kaina. She had not looked away even once. I may have two more surprises ready for you, but I don't know if you can get up again uh, to see them. Even how cocky you are, you just must be able to take quite a pounding. A moment later, as a thinking that the gesture was pointless, or perhaps just out of concern for the Electra in the repair bay, Alcina takes off an arrow and stabs it down, straight through Kena's skull. Ouch. She's just defacing her corpse now. The Connie is angry. She's no longer Connie. She's now fun. She's now cute and angry. Hungry. Her watching Kenneth's body disintegrates into a sticky bottle of liquid entropy. Alcione turns and heads into the deep of the watchtower without looking back. Oh man. Did you see that, Atlas? I can take revenge on my own. Oh man, Atlas. She did it for Atlas. The best buddy. The girl pats the badge of her clothing and mutters quietly to herself as she walks through the watchtower. Tadaima, Electra. Man. Oh man. <clears throat> was hardcore. But yeah, that was chapter one. Crazy that. That's just chapter one, and it was a lot of story. Now, on to chapter two. Which is equally as long, so probably I'll be able to do chapter chapter two in in two streams. What is this? Oh, that is so cute! I need to get that. I need to get that. I need to get this avatar. That looks so cute. Oh my God, how long is the event? It is a long event. Shit. There's only 27 parts to read, so... Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I should continue or if I should like, end the stream now. Ooh, give me those. Let's check the store before, the shop. 
Let's actually em empty empty shop because I can I can empty it now. Give me superior break the wickets. The three PC orange set. This thing. And this thing. And oh yeah, recopy core chip. I don't know what that is, but let's get it. I don't know what this what what this core chip is for. Reading these logs in chronological order is like flipping through the pages of a life. Can be used to unlock certain story scenes from the main storyline. Interesting. I can buy a bunch. Holy shit. Just six hours and fifty minutes to go. Oh, don't tell me that. No, it's it's already one a.m. in my country, so. Uh, maybe I'll just I'll read one more. Let's read one more and and then we'll end stream. <clears throat> in the middle of the Tartarus sector. Yeah, there's a mini game. I could play the mini game. Fuck. Okay, I'm I'm gonna read this and then I'm gonna play the mini game. I also looked into the distance. At the ruined watchtower in Noah's object tower B2. Alcyon is no longer in sight. Let's part ways here. According to our previous arrangement, Eos will travel with Bertellery while I will go alone. Because I'm that cool. Comps are still impossible inside the Tartarus sector, so take the utmost caution when moving. Send up a signal arrow if anything happens. Fortunately, the activation of a Halo can be seen from anywhere in the middle of the ring. Even without comms, we can monitor each other's status by keeping an eye on the watchtower. You sound like something you say, Berteller. Let's see which one of us can activate their tower first, then. It's a competition, then. Eos, do you have any further questions? Yeah, Entropic Survivor is like Bumper Survivors, but like... It's kind of like that, yeah. Ah, um... I, um... Eos, for us, we only need to have Halos of three Watchtowers active at once to activate the Ring White Halo, right? Indeed, so it is written in the revelations. We have seen the properties of the halos before this, have we not? Once we activate the halos, all the interpreters will be suppressed and they will be really be able to destroy Malkira. Yes, all the sacrifice we made up to that point will have been worthwhile. The offer's words seem to contain some kind of soothing magic. Eos nods and looks away from the tower. Relax. You think we just lost a battle from the look on your face? Pardon me, I ought to readjust my emotional models. You're giving yourself too much pressure. Go clear the redundant data in your system. I just I'd like to give you a chance to rest and relax. We sadly do not have that time for that right now. Even now, interpret forces are returning from the front. Even now, interpret forces are returning from the front lines to reinforce this place. Ethereus leads or watchline units, but, he can, but even he cannot divert the attention of all the creatures in the Tartarus sector forever. I understand. Time is precious. We can't let this slow our future movements. Berteller, make sure you can take care of Eos afterwards. I will. Ethereus turns to me and slowly pats me on the shoulder before turning to leave. Eos? Let's get a move on. Are you okay? Tell her. Hmm? The health force tell you why we sanctifies we're awakened. Hmm. Let's tell her the truth. Perhaps the health force didn't believe in it herself. Blah, blah, blah. Perhaps the health force didn't believe it himself. He simply told me his guest. Even the guest. Led towards the blasphemous conclusion. Nobody could have spoken it out loud. I understand. Tartarus' weakening of the sanctified was far too absurd, both in terms of its trick and execution. That absurdity was the most terrifying thing about it, and I simply could not calm me my omnisciousness. I told you before that I know where else for us very well. If I felt uneasy about something, then he would too. In truth, 
would have guessed what we were talking about. He has looked in the direction where Osphorus left. The conversation with the Osphorus involved the gods, right? Agree. I mean, silent. Let's agree. Indeed. The truth is, I'm a little worried about the Osphorus. His mission is an all or nothing bet. We had no choice, given the deadline the gods set. When the Osphorus is unsettled, it turns to his fate for speedless sport and to this voice of reason for solace. But if either of them should lose their effect, he also lowers his head. Their sleeve floating in the wind as their sanctifier badge glitters. After a moment of silence, she looks back towards me. The Osphorus is so strong that nobody in the reverse tower can imagine him being miserable, fragile. I know what that looks like. So do you. You gonna hug me? Give me a hug. If anything really happens, and I'll be counting on you to do what's best for him, the teller. After whispering those words, Elves looks back up and smiles at me while taking my hand. I thought nothing had happened. I continue to stay away from my sister, brother in law. I can't hear you, Asperos, over the sound of my wife, too. Let's go take down that outer tower. Shortly afterwards, in the middle ring of the Tartarus sector. No, you can, brother-in-law. The former sanctified watchtower designated object tower B3. Elsford slowly walks toward the watchtower, holding the relic in his right hand. His fierce, sharp operand easily disintegrate any entropy that grows his bed. <gasps> Tolemaya. Welcome, Eros. The girl at the entrance is cut to pieces before she can finish speaking. Elfros steps over the Dolemaya chunks and enters the watchtower, where he is greeted by another good seeing girl. It seems your understanding of the relic has improved further. I believe you have fully mastered this weapon before long, no? I wonder what will happen when you fully unleash this sword's power. What's this? Does it disconform the interpret that I am learning more about the relic? Oh. You sanctify is always so hostile. Why can't you just use something like that as a conversation starter? As you know, the battle has begun. But before the hosts speak and the band officially begins playing, there will be a short time for the guests to mingle and speak. Ptolemaia seems to consider Eosphorus a familiar. Trusted companion, she turns aside and gestures for him to continue onwards as he passes by. Part of this tower lower level has collapsed for various reasons. You wish to head to the roof, you may proceed this way. She, ju she just wants him to continue forward. Elfro's sword hand trembles, but in the end, he chooses not to strike. He takes a deep breath before blinking smiles. Please lead the way then. This is a trap. This is a trap. This is a fucking trap. And we're just falling right into it. <gasps> just in surprise. That damn smile. Tolemaya looks up at the Osphorus for the first time. She seems surprised. It would be my pleasure. Please come this way then. You want to take a left turn here to return to the stairs and continue on to the proper way to the watchtower roof. Is the hollow system in the center of the roof? Of course. The collapse did not affect the structure of the upper levels. Sounds like good news. Are you curious about my sudden change in attitude? I am merely ashamed that I do not know my partner as well as I ought to. I can help you understand. All you need to know is this. The sanctifiers will wipe out all the entropics. That is our purpose. The will of the gods. I am willing to see what tricks you have prepared to shake my fate. 
If these tricks end up helping me accomplish my mission more quickly, so much the better. <laughs> Tulemea chuckles, and the laughter echoes through the interior of the quiet watchtower. When I first met you, I found your conduct and that of your companion boring. You were nothing like the information I had obtained about you. Now, however, you seem as interesting as the person I imagined for you in the past. You researched me? Battle of Warzone Somme. The Little Battle of 04226CGN. The ambush of Warzone Boulder. We clashed many times before. Just in different ways from right now. But you were the entropic behind these incidents. But you made one mistake. I was not the one who crushed the entropic ambush at Warzone Boulder. Ah. Was it Berteller? No wonder. Setbacks during the ambush back then that a fatal blow to overall deployment. Both the execution and timing were most exquisite. It left a deep impression on me. If the reverse tower had more sanctifiers like you and Berteller, the interprets would be having a harder time. You flatter me. Okay, now I really don't know. Are we actually seeing the memories of Elsphoros? And we are just, we, Berteller, just took the place of some sanctifier in the memories? Or are we actually in the past acting as that sanctifier? That, this is confusing. I mean, like Panzer said, I should not delve deep into those ideas. It's confusing. It probably will be revealed eventually, but what does it mean? Brother, I can flee with your brother in law, but you can't flee with the enemy. Oh, no, I'm uh, sorry. Mm -mm. Brother, I can't flee with your brother in law, but you can't flee with the enemy. That's not fair. That's very. Hypocrite. Hypocrite. Which is, which is why I'm curious. But what? I'm curious as to why, despite being taken by surprise and weakened. We will still choose to continue deeper into the Tartarus sector. If you wish to persuade us to withdraw, you won't save your effort. We have the relic and there is a hollow system in the middle of the ring. The first is an unrival weapon. The second has been successfully activated to suppress hordes of entropics. And when fully activated, it can even reach the inner ring. Why should we not carry on? It is very... Suspicious. Elphros comes to a halt. He and Ptolemaia have reached the center of the watchtower roof, and the core control terminal stands before the two of them. Do you need to me do you need me to clear away the surface corruption? I can do it myself. Ptolemaia shrugs and stands aside. She continues asking Elphros question. She leans against a nearby wall. Indeed, the relic is most the best thing in Twin Tropics. The Halo system is even more troublesome. However, you could not guarantee their possession before you set out. Why were you so confident that you will obtain them? Are you saying that you were carrying on to take revenge for your friends? I'm not wrong. That's not the fire's name was. Before she can finish speaking, Olemaya's body is promptly cut to pieces. Yeah, keep your, keep my friend's Atlas name out of your damn mouth. Elfros puts away the relic within without looking back and continues looking on the core terminal. I do not recall giving you permission to speak his name. Yeah, he basically just, just did a meme. Keep my friend's name out of your mouth! Ah. A brand new Ptolemaia steps out of the shadows. She picks up a high place and sits down there. Raising her chin in her hands as she watches the Elfros work. Even the time constraints of this operation came from the revelation of your gods, right? Uh, I'm bored now. You might be able to see another side of your sanctifiers. But you're still the same. Your devotion to the gods merged on the mindless. Polemaya narrows her eyes. 
the way lines of code race to her eyes is as though she's receiving a divine revelation of her own. If just obtaining Rubik's map has such a ruinous effect on the sanctifier, then, you do, then do you not think activating the Halo system will have ill effect on its own? Oh. What happens if we continue fortifying the attack on the sector and encounter more ridiculous malware? Then we just have to overcome them. Elfro's hands pause beautifully over the control panel. Wait, what the fuck? Uh... What the fuck? I, I just received another pop-up saying that ads are being ad. Why? Don't lay the ocean by too hard. Why? Why did what did why did I receive another notification of ads? And why just now? Why why only now after six hours are the ads rolling in? That doesn't make any sense. This this YouTube monetization doesn't make any sense. I I. Remember when you well years ago, like in 2012, like everybody was able to monetize their content, and I was one of those. In my old channel, I I I got to like get to my maybe fifteen dollars, but at that time it was easy. Now it's like so complicated. Eat more and you get their cheap and <laughs> nice. Gotta gotta get those competition. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, I hope the ad is finished, so let's continue. The Osphorus hands pause briefly over the control panel, but he soon returns to normal. Then we will simply overcome the penance we have been assigned. Got them ad gate, that's why. Just got them Google bots. Oh? Even the ones punishing you are the very gods you revere. Elfro straightens up and looks at Dolemaya. It's the activation key. We sanctifiers are the defenders of Magracia. Protecting the cloud server is our calling. Oh no. That's a good answer. And the Libeda that something along the lines of My fate is beyond question. That's Malkia, isn't it? Elfros turns to the sword of the boys. His system prime and ready for battle. The fact that the Entropic managed to come so close without him even detecting her makes his heart sink. I told you earlier, the ball has begun. But before the hosts speak and the band officially begins playing, there will be a short time for the guests to mingle and speak. YouTube couldn't do their job of slapping channels who were being naughty. They made a blanket change that weakened everyone without even fixing the original issue that caused investors to leave. Is then the apocalypse is over all the making you do a truly stable source of income. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's why we, we can that's why you can yeah, we no longer we can depend on just YouTube. We can like like people want to make more, you have to depend on like outside ads. Or people buying, like, people like uh, getting promote, pr people promoting you and that stuff. Such a shame. Why, YouTube, you were supposed to kill the old media, not become it. But you have spoken at great length and leisure. Leisure time is over. The following time will naturally be yielded to my noble master. So the man leaps down from where she's sitting and curtsies. Then step aside. Oh no. A figure slowly emerged from the shadow, sitting upon a grand throne of interlocking written tentacles. I come to see you, Elspurus. Your operant level is your clone. It seems you aren't being very sincere about this meeting. 
would like to meet you in person, of course. But unfortunately, Cage Beer can unlock his own prison. Relax. I had no intention of hiding myself. However, your limited warning system were no longer able to detect me. Still, that is alright. I forgive you for being cautious. It is only your first time meeting me after all. More importantly, I'm very interested in you, Mosphorus. Judging by your tongue, you've seen me before. Of course, I've been looking forward to this day. To the day you could reach this place. To the day you could stand before me. Here it is. I will reach you like you want. And then I will destroy you. How cold. I thought everything Ptolemaia did was enough to show you the kindness of the Entropics. Why are you still so harsh and aloof? Could you not treat me the way you did her just now? Makira puts on a show of being hurt. Even the tentacles below her dropped sadly on the ground. However, this does not shake it off for us. This stormy aura of hostility does not fade. And stop flirting, brother! I have no interest in your disingenuous display. Our relationship is simple. We're nothing more than pesticide and pest. Not audience and actor. If you entropics truly had kind of intentions for the sanctifiers, if you sought some means of peaceful resolution, or other, more absorbent, ridiculous consideration, then why not come clean and out first encounter? Elthros a pretty creepy way of foreplay. I mean, Elthros and Malkira, both of them have some weird, kinky roleplay. Oops, I didn't read that. Because not every sanctifier deserves the kindness of the Entropics. Dear, I thought you had already used up my one chance. You can have as many chances as you want. The same applies to Hephaestus, who is brawling with my children on the front lines. Plus, it feels like a marital fight. Yeah, they kind of feel like uh, exes. The world of the Entropics is much more direct than that of the Sanctifiers. An individual with potential will receive more chances than those who do not. Malkira tones shift from the to the light in an instant. She peers outside the window, looking at the other two watchtowers through the glass. There is a hint of mockery in her tone. Also, I wish to emphasize this. Ever since the Sanctifiers set foot in the Tartarus sector, you were no longer the arbiters of the natural for relationship. I want to see how this all plays out, and the sanctifiers will all have to play their roles. <gasps> you have clones in the other two watchtowers! Now why would I you think that? Then you just do not understand the lengths of which I gone. You're surprised to be paid for meeting you in the middle ring. My sincerity does not come cheap. Still, that too is fine. Expectations are merely expectations, nothing more. I'm curious as to how far you can go. Makra's face goes blank again. She yawns lazily and sits down by a corner, hugging her legs. Oh, that is adorable. Below her, the dropping tentacles suddenly go er erect and bristle with sharp points. Come then, Neosphoros. Let me see if you can surprise me after obtaining the relic. That sounds very... sexy. Hey, core fragments. Alright, that's enough story for now. That's where we're gonna left off. But before we go, we're actually gonna play... the minigame. Let's play a, a session. Let's play with none other than Eos itself. Okay, let's check this. Let's get this one. Uh, let's get this one. This one. Mm, start. Yep, they're married. The Bible time. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is like Vampire Survivor, but with, with, with a fixed camera. Like, in, because in Vampire Survivor, you can just basically move around and the camera moves with you. But here, you can just... Only you can move around. I understand why my brother wants to go alone. Ah, let's get this. <clears throat> Rule 54. That's a great AoE ultimate from uh, Elfros. And it is pretty powerful as well. Let's get this one. And this one. Ah, oh, this one as well. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try that narration before when 17 seconds, right? Let's try that. I kind of like prefer to do it as as soon as possible because that way maybe I can like do a double double ultimate. Shit. Like that actually worked pretty well. Right. Let's upgrade this one and let's get this one. Yeah, when the stage gets longer, then then I can use the double ultimate. Now. Oops, no, no, fuck, no, no, shit. Ah, oh, goddamn. <clears throat> right, I know, let's discard this. Ah, there we go, 50. Let's get this one, and... Uh, oh, there we go, get one. Uh, yeah, that's good. Check the DMs when the shop comes back. Okay, I'm gonna check it. Oh my god, that's... Yeah, there's, there's a, a lot... Uh, the, the, yeah, I've I seen the, a lot of team power. All oh, I door skill haste. Okay, I need... To, hope, hopefully I get I get one of those next. Also, oh my god, look at that. Look at that gun. And that's some nice fan art.
Thanks for thanks for the 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 message, Harish. Uh, that's that's some good fan art. Fuck no, don't. Shit. Okay, I stack a crap ton of skilled heist and hazard. It benefits Eos a lot. Okay, for so for Eos is then ha has rate. The Eos works better with hash rate then. Don't stop, don't let Hmm. Oh, let's get this one. Potion. Let's get this one. And one more, but let's. Oh, Dimension of Dole. That's a good one, actually. There we go. We're gonna show all on stream what that big team boss value to. Hopefully, hopefully we get those. Okay, ho oh wait, that image is... 8,244. I can get those numbers. I think. I mean, I, I reached close numbers playing just this by myself, so. There we go, let's try this. It's kind of like cool that we, you, you can like evade their attacks. Fuck no! Shit! There we go. There we go. 59. Upgrade this one. Okay. Which I could have a wonderful chance of turning two monsters. Damage increase. Uh... Ash rate. I reached a point where Elf was slaying those pity fools so much that I didn't even need the ultimate. Oh man, that's so cool. I need to I need to get that point. Projectile damage increase. Get this. Oh, hello, Panzer. W welcome back. I'm still, I'm, I'm still here. Yeah. Yeah, but just, just for a, for a little bit, I'm gonna finish this mini game and then I'm gonna end stream because right now it's close to be 2 a.m. in my country, so I'm actually getting a little bit sleepy and I'm getting extremely hungry. I haven't eaten. I haven't eaten anything in like 10 hours. Also, I'm playing this, this, I mean, I mean, how do you guys play this minigame? Because right now I'm playing it with a controller. Like I'm, I'm literally playing this with a joystick, so it's really easy. Because I tried playing it with my phone and uh, it was hard.
Shit, no, get those four. No, oh shit, I trap. There we go, 92. Thank you. I watched those two videos on stream first. They were the stuff you love. Mm, I did it by using blue stack and setting the wasp joystick. The same one I used for the PNC snake game. Oh, uh, just the joystick then. Uh, yeah, that's, that's actually pretty useful. Okay, not this one. Doomslayer. I uh, know, Dragon Slayer. Mm -hmm. This is good one. Set this, 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 this. Let's refresh. to like get rid of something uh, let's get rid of this yeah with a, with a joystick is actually way easier like like just with the with the touch control of this phone is way harder Alright, alright, alright. Oh shit. I kinda I kinda don't like I don't I don't want them to, to take away this minigame. It's pretty fun. You know, it'd be great if they could they would they could make available all the minigames. Because they're all fun. They're very unique. Let's do it again. <coughs> this is card. Before the final battle, show so buff your functions are. Absolutely. Let me know when's my final battle. I don't know. At 15, 16, okay. Mm, I cannot get more functions actually. We have friendly units. Refund fit of ultima. Oh, it's a good one. Upgrade. Okay, let's refresh. Ooh, upgrade. Upgrade this one as well. Let's refresh again. Mm, let's get this one. Yeah, so many games are pretty fun. Also because they're pretty unique. Like, uh, I guess because they're not the main gameplay. It's the loop. Ah. Shit. 
Shit, don't. Don't fuck. Three times. Come on, come on, come on. Oh shit. One hundred and nineteen. Oh, the actual event. Oh, door stock, door stock. <laughs> the event where that looks like Tetris with balls. The 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 Sui, yeah, no, it, Borbank was the the Suica game, which uh, I think Mika like Mika missed the chance. Like if if they could have made that game, mini game available while the Suica game was being popular, that would, been, that would have been great free advertisement. We go. So many buffs on the upgrade that the temporary shield shield were completely dominating the health bar. Oh, that's like that sounds that sounds awesome. Now this this Let's get this one, door range. I think this is the last one, right? Okay, let's let's check my functions because I think this is the last the last one before the the end. Okay. 42, 26, 26, 26, 45, 139, damn. 197, 46. 46, 46, 46, 66, minus 48, 72, 63, and 63. Huh. Not bad. Oh, yeah, this is the last one. This is the boss. There she is. Hello, Tolemaya. Shit, shit, shit. What the fuck? Oof. That's the first time I actually defeat the boss. I've never been able to defeat it. I'm always like trying to escape, but that's the first time I defeat her. Shh, holy shit. There we go. Nine hundred and nine thousand two thousand nine nine. How do you how do you say that? Nine hundred three thousand ninety two. It was to be equipped with the with them homing missile system. They are looking at me, and she has her own black hole even. Floor protocol level eight. Not bad. I think I think that's my yeah that's my highest record now. You also had the score bonus, huh? Added the buff, right? I'm currently at rank fourteen.
Oh my god, how the hell do they get that? Holy shit. 9392. <laughs> mine was the mine was only the 30%. Oh, I think I did it with 416. Oh yeah, 416 you can I can, you can also do it with others. I, I only been doing it with EOS because I, I wanted to try her out. Rari, what happened? Rari, no! Yeah, well, rank 14 is not bad. Do I get... I don't get anything? Anyway... Anyway, that's I think that's enough for today. Been a been a long stream. I think <clears throat> it's been a long stream. My legs hurt. I I finished chapter one. Okay, yeah, okay, two short videos. Send them to me, man. Or can I Google them? I'll watch those two short videos and then. I'll have I'll go to eat. I hope I, I hope there's still food for me. Man, so far I'm like so far I'm liking the event. Ah, thanks, thanks, Panzer. Take care take care of you as well. I mean if you're leaving, take care as well. I'm just gonna watch two, those two videos and I'm gonna hit 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 my hit my belly because i'm hungry you're in my dms oh, I need, oh shit i don't have discord open in this browser it, why i cannot let's try it up let's try and open it up oh no wait i do have it okay One on minus T and the other one by Rocketor. Okay, minus T I side. Oops. Minus T. Is that a is that uh the other by Rocketor? Oh Rocketor. The stars from the end. Oh are there anime are there animations? It looks pretty nice. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna put them on the screen. Okay. No, don't do that. There we go. Oh, fuck. But you don't, don't, don't see my, 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 my thumbnail. There we go. I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna quickly finish. I have I, I know I already done my dailies on GF on Narrow Cloud. Yeah, Mar Channing. Okay, I'm gonna do and doing my dailies. No, but oh, yeah, there, there we go. I'm gonna close Narrow Cloud. All right. All right, yes. Oh, see you, Salo. Have a good... Thanks, thanks. You too, Agi. Have a good night. Okay, I'm gonna watch these videos quickly. You know, let's watch the, the, this one first. Hey, 416. No, daily time. Thankfully, I already did my... Is that Tohu? Yeah, that's Tohu. Thankfully, I already did my dailies.
Oh, that's really well animated. Wait, 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 did this, this music cooperate? <laughs> I hope not, right? Music... Okay, I, I, I hope not. Can I just lower the volume a little bit? Oh my god, the bullet hell! <laughs> That's how that looks like, when it's not 2D. Is that a 3D game? Of, is that a Toho 3D game? Because, I mean, I only seen the two, 2D games, but is there a 3D game like, like this? And it looks, I mean, it looks like it would be absolutely crazy to like, Avoid all the target, the, the bullets. No, there you go. That's a cover Toho, so no copyright scene soon. It's very chill about. Oh, nice. As long as you're not insulting about it. This suck. No, that's good. <laughs> No, Toho has, Toho, Toho has like some great freaking music. Oh, look at that. That's like the 2D games. Toho has some great music. No 3D bullet game. Oh. I do remember that there's a section in Near Automata, and in Near Automata where there's kind of like a bullet hell moment. But not as extreme as, as this, but it's like, there's like bullets and projectiles coming. I need to play Nier Automata. That's another, that's another game that I'm, I know I'm gonna like, but I haven't tried it out yet. All those 3D BR and Maku battles which are blinding. I mean, I mean, this looks absolutely crazy to see. Wait, this is Blender? Holy shit, how much time did it, did it, did it take to, to render this? Holy shit. Man, what, what? What, what? What kind of server farm he uses to render this? Because that's absolutely crazy. With that level of detail and animation. Shit. So it's, I mean, it's kind of like crazy because I mean, they're beautiful, but they can kill you. Takes a long time between uploads. No, yeah, I, I can't imagine it. I mean, animated is one thing, but animating is one thing, but like rendering. That's that was pretty nice. I like, like. Let's check the next one. Hard Knights the movie starts from the end. Story before the event of Enfield. Hey, let's check this one. They can actually kill? What? But don't you have to like avoid them to, to not die in the games? I never played a Toho game actually, so... The card system was to solve issues without killing each other. Oh... I know very few. I know very few about Toho. I just know about the 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 music is great, Bad Apple, and the games are crazy.
Hmm. Are they going to space? Oh, ah, they're like a space elevator. Holy shit. Shit, that's that is some great animation dude. What the fuck? Okay, so this is what this is how what happens before the end field event, I guess. You don't have a suit. How are you breathing? Ouch. Uh, the, sh the shit's happening so fast that I don't know how to react. This feels this feel, this feel like something from Gundam. Like... Like there's so many shit happening at the same time, like... I feel, I feel like there should be a Gundam here. Fan me, yeah. I believe this is a short story based on the skin series in the game. Oh, ah, oh, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. The third crank that museum. I, 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 I didn't want to crank it much because in case I get a copyright strike. Run, run, true. Based on our skin series, yeah. If, uh, yeah, I, I mind thought that space suit. Wait, wait. I imagine that space suit Amelia is wearing is if it's a skin. Ah, it's pretty cute. It's pretty cute, especially because it's a, it's like a space suit and it's got like the, the rabbit ears. This one is a pointer towards Enfield. Can you look who made a cool suitor versus red play video? And yeah, I think I, I saw that. Yeah. I'm, I'm because I'm surprised. I'm, I'm ready to subscribe to this guy. Oh man, what a great... What a, that, was some, that was some cool animations. We need animations like that in, in Good Fun Play. Man, that's... Oh, that's cool. Thanks for, thanks for the suggestion, Narish. They kind of hype me up. I want to see it again just because... Especially when... I mean, when things going too fast, I don't know... I kind of like lose information, so I need to see it again. Hey, look! Pretender is streaming. Well, let's see his let's see his, his stream. Information. So I need to say that again. Hey, look! Pretender is streaming. Well, let's see his let's see his, his stream. Pretty cool. That's my he's my favorite VTuber. Pretty cool. That's my he's my favorite VTuber. Oh no! I'm trapped in a loop. I oh, know what what I do now. Oh no! I'm trapped in a loop. Now. Somebody help me! Somebody stop me! I'm losing viewers. Okay, well, I'm, I, I think it's time to infinite loop achieve. Somebody help me. Yeah, I think it's time to uh, go to sleep now. It's already two a.m. Okay, well, it's already two a.m. here in my country. I'm, I'm getting confused. Oh, 
I'm actually getting sleepy, but I I actually need to like get something to eat before I go to sleep. Anyway, thank you for watching the stream. I hope you enjoyed. If you're watching the archive, I hope you enjoyed as well. And I hope you didn't got bombarded by too many ads. Uh, which is weird that so many ads just happen in, in the stream. I need to check. I need to check that out. But yeah, anyway, uh, thank you for watching the stream. And I will continue playing the Entropic Economy event tomorrow. The same hour. Hopefully I'm going to start at 6 p.m. And if not, I'm going to start at 7 p.m. Depends in depends of at what hour my family leave the house. Because I like to stream when I'm alone at home. I'm there as well. Anyway, have a good night, everybody. Or a good day. Whatever you are waking up to. Bye. Don't let the house bite too hard. Always. Have a good night. And sleep well.